three, two, one, go. Oh, the weak clap. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the B&A stream for the 26th of June, September. Uh, yeah, September 19, 2022. I hope you have had a wonderful week. And uh, I've had a wonderful week. And I hope you got a great week coming up ahead. Uh, be alert uh, if you are watching the stream live. Um, do note that it is daylight savings kicking in next week in Australia land. So first next Monday, uh, the stream will be an hour earlier for you, unless you're also in Sydney, in which case you've already switched clock an hour earlier. Um, so yeah. Other than that, let's hop into it before the song changes. Here we go. So. Uh, render in it fail with set viewport 2. Hold on. Legit, I tried. I tried. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I gotta set the resolution? I gotta set the resolution. Oh, no. Oh, there's two. I, hold on, legit. Oh, no. <laughs> there's two. I got two 1020. Play 768 true colors. Oh gosh, which one which one do we use? The first one or the second one? Let's go with the first one. Let's see if this works out. Um uh, thanks, Peg Soldo's patch. Appreciate it. Uh we seem to be good. We seem to be good. Uh so yeah, so this stream oh, and I haven't I haven't my chat on screen. There we go. Uh so this stream is uh going to be on the Tomb Raider 2 Gold download, uh, otherwise known as Tomb Raider 2 The Golden Mask. Uh, if you are the owner of Tomb Raider 2, this is a free download on Stella's website. Uh, I think it was released in 1999 as like a super version, in the same way of Tomb Raider 1 Gold, the unfinished business levels. Uh, don't go into Lara's home, you'll crash the game, uh, but you can go into a new game. I have a bonus to save down the bottom there. Uh, and we can start. Uh, the key thing is this is mostly the same game, if in fact it actually is the same game. Uh, but it is four plus one, all new levels, uh, designed, um, to just use Tomb Raider 2, I guess. Uh, this follows Lara in some adventure after the regular Tomb Raider 2 levels. Uh, I think I can go up here. There we go. We got a heli chopper. Let's get rid of that shark, because that shark is going to be a nuisance. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's another set of downloadable levels. It's technically still part of Tomb Raider 2. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, if you're the owner of uh, the game on GOG or Steam, uh, it's not with your version. You're going to need to hunt this one down uh, online. Uh, there does exist a gold uh, set of levels for Tomb Raider 3 as well, uh, but they never did any more after that. The Tomb Raider 3 levels, interestingly, uh, I think were marketed and released as um, like a downloadable add-on, sorry, as a, as a, um, a store-bought paid add-on, so uh, seller's website does not link to that. Um, the most important part is uh, your secrets are now replaced with three golden items. I, I've done my research this time around. Uh, you'll have gold coins, gold bars, and a golden skull. You want to pick up all three of them in all four levels. Doing all, uh, Collecting all 12 secrets will unlock a fifth bonus level. And it's my plan this stream to play all five levels. Uh, God help me, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna totally die. Um, uh, but all these levels, just, uh, one contiguous set of levels, uh, key things you'll maybe note is, uh, for some odd reason, Lara's health bar and her oxygen bar are a bit more mooted. The oxygen bar is just kind of pale blue, the health bar is orange. I don't know why. It's just like that. Uh, I'm not gonna find every single goodie in the level, but I'm gonna try my darndest. Ready fighting dudes? Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to get all the the secrets. Um, uh -huh. Done a bit of forward research and actually like charted them out, but I'm not gonna have anything on screen. It's just kind of uh -huh. what I remember. Oh. Yeah, that's going behind me, isn't it? 
Oh my gosh. Okay, we did it. Blendo not saving. That's the whole game right there. Alright, listen. What, how, how often do I ever use the harpoons? Like, really? You can get a harpoon gun. Is it worth it? I don't think so. It's such a shame that, like... <laughs> real talk, I didn't even say this, like, last... Like, uh... Pretty much at the end of the game stream, but, like... Yeah, the harpoon really isn't that useful. It's not very good when you're outside of water. And when you're in water, there's not a lot of things you're often shooting. Well, you're usually pretty reserved. So... Uh, but otherwise, it is going to be more Tomb Raider 2. Uh... Fortunately, yeah, it, it will be the last of Tomb Raider 2, and, uh... Don't have any hard plans to queue up a Tomb Raider 3 uh, stream. Uh, I've got definitely a bunch of other games I do want to play. The worst part is Tomb Raider 3 and Tomb Raider 4 are both longer games than this. Um, so if you enjoyed lots of me nosing around in Tomb Raider, and you really want me to continue, just feel free to you know, let me know. Just, just tell me. Uh, yeah, uh, number two, you'll notice uh, the, uh, the health does not have the red cross, it is a green cross. I don't know if uh -huh. someone sued, although I think Doom had been putting the, the red cross on its health packs for uh -huh. considerably longer after. The camera throws me off, because I'm, I'm running towards a door there. And then suddenly, like, I'm just not on the right side of the door. Uh -huh. So... Uh -huh. yeah, oh, I, uh, I'll accept it. Yes, you see what I mean? I'm like, I'm trying to aim myself at a door. And then I'm just, I'm just not having a, a fun time. This is uh -huh. how I beat the, the, the game in, in, in a two hour stream, by the way. Constantly uh -huh. dying at literally the first obstacle. Oh, that's where they're coming from. I'm an idiot. That's that's why I keep getting thrown off. Well, actually, the camera's moving. I'm not a complete idiot. Uh -huh. I'm just horrendous. I was playing a hat in time earlier, uh -huh. and I was trying to like unjinx myself by uh, playing the game well. There we go. There should be some leopards come to greet me. Hi there, leopards. How you doing? Very cute leopards. I would love. A big cat that won't tear my face off. That'd be kind of cool. Uh -huh. Having a swig. You know how these streams go. Always gotta have that swig. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, is it is it exactly big news? I'm not too sure, but uh, uh, uh -huh. definitely the big thing. Uh, that I want to talk about this week is uh, the new NVIDIA graphics cards uh, which were announced and I know people are probably going through all these streams and like, well, you just talked about them last week. Uh, I was all speculative last week. Uh, the answer is I was really off the mark. Um, uh -huh. The main thing that I had uh, guessed was that given the close competition of the uh, AMD um, RX 6000 GPUs, I was expecting, hey, NVIDIA's probably gonna, you know, release some decently priced competitive GPUs. Um, uh -huh. Granted, I, I knew this was still the Halo product range, uh, but I was thinking, oh, 40, 80, 1100. Well, those founders prices, and well, Australian, by the way, not US. Uh, if this was US, I would actually be on the mark. Uh, so, or, and, and actually, there's a 4070 that didn't exist as well. Um, so, there's me double off the mark. Instead, they released two 4080s, which I guess probably confuses everyone. So, uh, so let's run through the, the, the bits of me getting lost, first of all. I'm very certain that it just kind of... Oh, maybe it's just up here. There's, there's slopes that are actually ladders. What? Maybe that's where the... the ball came out of. See, this totally looks like where I... 
It looks like somewhere you gotta go, but again, nothing. Nothing. It's 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 just dead ends. What? Huh? We got the box here. Maybe the box holds a secret of some kind. Uh, oh, I can push it. I can't pull it. Oh, and had health. You're gonna see a lot of that. You're gonna see a lot of them hiding health under uh -huh. pushable boxes. Well, not just health, but everything really. That's, again, that's nowhere to go. What the heck? I've gotten lost immediately. Uh, maybe up here, where the where the stuff was coming from. Was that a pit? I just immediately just didn't even click him up. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Um, so yeah, so the three cards were announced. A 4080 12 gigabyte, a 4080 16 gigabyte, and a 4090, which has uh, 24 gigabytes of VRAM, uh, similar to the 3090. Um, my ball is still rolling, is it? Oh, it's just dead fighting. So yeah, this is a wall you can climb up. It doesn't really look like it, but you totally can. Um, so yeah, so the three cards... Uh, I've got US prices, and then I've got the approximations of the Australian prices off the top of my head, because I didn't... I forgot the exact numbers. But, uh, the three cards, 4080 12 gig, uh, will be 900 or 899 US dollars, um, which was, I think, around just over 1600 Australian. That's, that's off their website, by the way. That's not a conversion rate thing. That's what they're supposedly going to charge for the founders card, which is, uh... Oh boy, me, $1,600 for a 4080. Uh, oh boy. But also, then, uh, man, he's taking his time. Uh, the 16 gigabyte version is 1200 Australian. Now, mind you, uh, -huh. uh I think the, uh, 3080 released at like 1200 Australian. Also, people were very up in arms about that price. Um, and, uh, now it's like. Yeah, that, that actually, I think, is 2,200 Australian, the 4080, Uh, the last one is the 4090, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I think it's 1,500 US. Is it 15 or 16? I think, I think it might be 16, but that's not, that's not crazy higher than the 3090 used to be. That, uh, that's at least, at least, um, oh, you gotta jump over this, like, weird, like, gap here. It's, there's a lot of weird jumps here. Yeah. Um, and that converts to, I, I think off the top of my head, 2,969 Australian. Might be 59, but moral of the story is, uh, these are incredibly high prices. Uh, and the key thing to note is that the name of the product doesn't exactly mean anything. That's the, that's the most important takeaway. Uh, the only thing the, the, the name of the product should really do is tell you what you're expecting. And NVIDIA, gonna have rip into them, even though uh, I always meme and say NVIDIA hire me, because I really like some of the techie things they do. Um, but, uh... Uh -huh. Do I have to back up? Like, if they're gonna drop a snowball on me immediately? No, okay. Um, NVIDIA... Uh, I don't think has really marketed their cards in a way that will uh, give them the best publicity. Uh, because uh, if anyone has paid attention to the tech news recently, these cards have... Well, they, people have ripped on them. People are calling it the worst reveal since uh, the 2000s, which is not really saying too much. What's with this weird little ledge? I want to say you gotta- oh, no, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna climb the wall right here. Oh boy, let's finish the water. It's good when it's nice and cold, you know? There we go. Um... But... Yeah, the, the biggest thing NVIDIA has not particularly done a good job on is the names of these products. Uh, I've got a kind of unique take on this, um, uh -huh. although there's a lot of other things I've heard, mostly the tech kind of pundits um, say uh, as well, so uh, some of the stuff, if you've been hearing some people, it might not be new, and if you've been hearing uh, 
more public internet boards. Uh, definitely you'll think that this is a bit more of a radical idea, but uh, I think NVIDIA, the, the obvious thing is NVIDIA shouldn't name two cards 4080, even if one's a 12 gig and one's a 16 gig version, I haven't gone into the different specs between the two. There are some things which I can understand, although I wish it was, you know, documented more. There's a lot of darn eagles, aren't there? Where does this take place? This is a, I saw someone write down this is India. Like, uh, like the Alps. Uh, I'm curious where this is, because, I mean, they're certainly reusing lots of stuff from regular Tomb Raider 2. Uh, I believe secret number 2 is actually, like, close by as well. Down down the secrets. I, I don't expect the stream to go under two hours, but hopefully I get it under three. There we go. So like down here, I believe, there's like a this pit that you're supposed to just like sail over, but if you ledge grab down. I gotta sneeze, oh boy. Nice. I'd written yeah, I've written down there's a weapon! Uh, so there's some things that I can expect over a 12 gig and a 16 gig version that, you know, sure, it's unspoken. I think one thing people are definitely ripping on the memory bandwidth of the two 4080s, uh -huh. particularly, they're both still using GDR6X. Now they're clocked a bit higher than uh -huh. other um, VRAM typically is. I think that just drops down to the beginning. I don't think that's actually a shortcut down here. Yeah, like, it gets a shotgun ammo, but... You're not saving anything by coming up here. You're still gonna climb up, so... Nah. I'm good. We'll climb back out. Um... But the, uh... So, yeah. Th things I expect. Uh, the memory bandwidth is kind of oof. Uh, I think on the... Um, the 3080. Even the 10 gig one. I think it had the 320 bit wide memory bus and then it was like 384 on the 12 gig um which is understandable and usually when you get uh cards like that uh where there's two different like uh versions with different memory usually how it works is that the more memory is just the bandwidth is like linearly increased with the memory and you could you can i mean legit if if 10 gigs is you know uh a 320 bit bus. Uh, I think the memory um, chips are like two gigs each, and there's five of them. Uh, that would be 64 gigs per chip. Have six chips, that's 384 bit, and there you go. And suddenly you're at 12 gigs of RAM, and that's the, the wide bus on the uh, 3080 12 gig. The same rule applies to the 12 gig and the, uh, the um, 16 gig uh, 30, 4080. Um, where the 16 gig is a 256 bit bus and the uh, 12 gig is a 192. The kind of oof thing is that the 12 gig one has less memory bandwidth than the 3070 Ti. And the 16 gig one is it's more than the 3070 Ti, but it's less than the last year's 3080. Um, or last two years' 3080. It's definitely something where. No. You know, it might not actually be an issue, but it might be an issue. I, I've definitely found anecdotally that cards with better memory bandwidth do hold their weight a bit better over time. Um, so I'm hoping that, uh, well, actually, sorry, I take it back. When I say hold its weight over time, I think the overtime is when you push the card into 4K. One thing I am loving the most out of my 1080 Ti is when there's an old game, uh, that I want to, you know, uh -huh. start rocking in 4K, it's a really capable card at doing that. So I'm especially glad with that card. Um, but the... Uh, yeah, if the uh, if the 4080 is not... If I jump over that, will I just jump to my death? Who knows? I 
did I open that door? That wasn't... That wasn't on this side. That would have been inside there, so I still need the key. From somewhere. Whoops. Okay. Um... Yeah, uh... So... Uh, one difference, I guess, nowadays is that, like, well... You know, a lot of these cards are already expected to run at 4K, and in fact, I think all of NVIDIA's benchmarks were at 4K. I don't think they even bothered to show anything under 4K, which is perfectly uh -huh. reasonable at that point. I, I think the cards, or really, a lot of the newer cards nowadays are already kind of stupid dumb performance for 1440p and 1080p, and the only games that do struggle at 1080p are usually games with such high quality assets that kind of... It's a bit of a waste running them at 1080p. You don't, you're not going to see the fidelity. Um, usually, Flight Sim's the key example. That's like the one game that absolutely tanks uh, systems. Probably because it's just doing too much. Understandably too much, but too much nonetheless. Too much for someone to maybe tell at 1080p. Um, it would be nice if the game ran faster. Uh, just even at those higher settings, but there's a degree of like, yeah, you know. The, uh -huh. the settings still can indicate that the card is doing, um, or rather that the game is doing way too much more grunt than it really it really has to. Um, so if the newer cards, if they're performing fine at 4K, uh -huh. there's only one real big push, and that's 5K, uh, and then eventually 8K if we're really gonna push into that, but... I think AK is an odd pipe dream. It was like, it was that point in time that NVIDIA wanted to push towards the 3090 being an AK card, but no one really, like, accepted that challenge. Um, I think I just got to drop down here, actually. Uh, no one accepted that challenge. Uh, no one bought into any of that advertising. Um, barely, I don't think anyone even made an AK monitor in response. I think the only one is a, a single one by Dell. Am I going to break my legs? I am going to break my legs. Cool. Um, and uh, on top of that, like, it's not even like DisplayPort lets you output at that high uh, you know, resolution without, uh, I guess you could use DisplayStream for compression, but you would need to support it on the... It's, it's a complex story, but moral is, uh, you might be able to get away with it with HDMI, but I don't know why, including the new cards, it's the same graphics outputs uh, by spec as the... Um, as the, the, well, the 3000 cards. Three DisplayPort 1.4a uh -huh. ports, not 2.0, and uh, one HDMI 2.1 port. Uh, that's at the top of where that one guy was. Ah, but you get a snowmobile. You get another snowmobile. You're definitely gonna see some reused assets, but I think bringing back the snowmobile is definitely nice and good fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a bit of a drop. Um, so, yeah, I don't think NVIDIA is really pushing that hard into 8K. They've actually got, they've got a page on their website. Oh, down I go. They've got a page on their website about 8K, which is 100% copy-pasted from, like, two years ago. Except they've replaced things with... 4090 instead of 3090. They've even got a, a chart on it showing how much of an improvement the 3090 is. It still says 3090 on it. It's very odd. Um, so the last card is the the 4090. Uh, main things that I note from that is that it's the same amount of memory and bandwidth as the uh, 3090 Ti. It's e even the memory is clocked at the same speed. So. Uh, if you missed out on your opportunity to get a 3090 Ti, now is your opportunity because it's, uh, well, it's, it's probably cheaper, I think. Oh, there's a guy chasing me on the, the motorbike. It's not a real height. I have completely lost track of where I'm even trying to go here. I'm just wandering the, around with the bike. Oh yeah, a bike. Snowmobile, not not a bike. To some extent, it, I mean, it's got a bike engine, don't snowmobile too. Yeah. Um. So, uh, 
Now the 4090, uh, I don't think anyone really notes any compromise in that card. In fact, it's it's uh, the one card with more cores uh, than its uh, previous uh, generation uh, version of the 4090. Now the 4080, uh, both game versions, uh, have fewer cores than the 3080, but the key thing that they're trying to uh, push is that the clock speeds are higher and on top of that you've got just the architectural improvements so even if it were the same clocks and the same number of cores um, the raw performance benefit of the newer architecture of cores should mean that there is some benefit. Uh, now the big surprise from NVIDIA is that, well not big surprise but the, that's a couple of big surprises but the big one for me is that these cards are yet again another real silly performance boost. I say silly performance boost as in a lot of gamers are kind of hitting like peaks with the 3080 and 37Ti. Like a, a lot of a lot of games and that is a cliff. That is a cliff. Wow. You like how they bait you with that one? Like amazing did I really not save in any of that? Alright. Remind me to save after the first like canyon bit. Jeez. Yeah, we gotta turn around there. So the goal is to get five levels done in the stream. Oh, oh, oh. I think my brain was going, ah, I paused to take a medipack. It's, it's a very bump, bumpy ride here. Oh, I guess uh, the level's called the Cold War and also there's signs of the CCCP. Like, this ain't India. Okay, don't follow that guy. That guy is... Oh, is he a goner? He came back. Where do I go? Because I'm obviously not going up. Officers are not going that way. I lived. I lived to tell the tale. Suck eggs game, but I am totally soft locked. So, make sure I load game. Don't save game there. Um, it's this route, but it's kind of not working. And it really doesn't help when you got these guys buggering you. Gotta jump out and climb. Just as long as he doesn't knock me while I'm trying to get up here. Ah, oh, he knocked me. It's not, it's not the most fun. Uh, but yeah, these cards are like a real significant performance. He just came out and back in. Although I guess we got this ledge up here. Oh, hey, hey, I'm a bit stuck. Oh. That didn't really get me out of there, did it? It just kind of put me somewhere else. And I'm blown up again. It's not holding any trade secrets, that guy. I'm just gonna say, get off this thing. Come on, Mark. Sometimes as well, the, the, the snowmobile is just moving forward in some like, more of a stiff way. Okay, 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 I just want to get- No, oh, not back on the bike. The worst part is you take more damage when you're off the bike, so it's just like, ugh. Alright, I stopped. I'm off the bike. I'm now getting pop. I, I need to climb up that ledge. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Really close, really close, turn around. 
Up the ledge, Lara. Just up the ledge. Come on. There we go. There we go. Dude, how many minutes did that take me? Like seven minutes to try and climb that ledge? Jeez. Um, but yeah, no. So the performance gains, I was genuinely surprised. Uh, because I was expecting... Uh, well, a lot of people were fearing high power targets. The big thing that these cards have is at stock, they're not drawing more. The 40, 90 is still the same, and they're pushing their 12 V HWPR uh, connector, the, the 12 volt high power connector as part of the ATX uh, V3 power spec. Um, but if you have an ATX V3 power supply, or even some other non-graded, but still technically new power supplies, uh, you'll have that cable. If not, um, pretty much every card's going to have an adapter, because a lot of people are not going to have that cable. Um, the adapter will take uh, three, or possibly four, uh, PCIe power plugs. Uh, so they're definitely asking for four if, if uh, available, which is definitely a thing. Um... I don't think the 30, I, I think there's 3080s without the plug, um, but, oh, there's a hole there, um, but there's definitely going to be people having, I guess, the heartache of high power still, it's still up there, it's not, it's not really crazy going down, um, but, uh, oh, on the other topic of, uh, stripped specs, um, so between the 3080 and the 3080, I know, right? Um, there's like 20% more, um, or 25% more compute units in the 3080 16 gig as opposed to the 3080 12 gig. Um, and it's at that point that people are like, okay, legitimately, like, depending on the benchmark, and then actually not even the benchmark, just depending on the use case, the 3080 will significantly outperform the 3080. Now, there's some games where it wasn't the case, but there are some games that were. And yeah, as a naming nomenclature, uh, which ultimately that's what <laughs> that's, that's what I was on, uh, having two products, in, and I've, I've been saying the 3080 by the way, it should be 4080, sorry. Too many, too many names. Um, but the two cards that are one, not even the same, chip. I, I weren't even intending for the same chip. Uh, watch out for the spooky spirit man, by the way. There's a, there's a spirit man. He's made out of ice. It's kind of hard to spot, but well, come on. it's not impossible to spot now. I needed to make that jump. I don't think they kill you, but they're definitely, uh -huh. like, just there. Oh! Okay. Look at all these uh, very transparent ice things about to crumble. That was... Where was that leading me? That was just leading me back here. That wasn't really... Oh, I guess I gotta drop down, don't I? Well, I dropped down. Well, nice, good on me. Um, but the... Mm. Yeah, the two cards, they shouldn't have the same name. They legitimately should have had different names. Now, the the common criticism people have is, well, it was going to be the the 4070, and then it wasn't what gives. Um, and uh, perhaps the, the right... That's what I'm getting confused by, because that looks like a ledge there, but it's not. It's just, uh, okay, I'll get this jump, and then figure out where to go from there. Um... Uh -huh. Do they want me to drop down? Because, I mean, it's clearly safe up on this ledge. But it's not... Oh, I guess I can walk back down here. Now I gotta... Oh, now I gotta slide down. Okay. Right. There we go. I think these are also just glass walls. You gotta be careful that you don't hit the ice fellas. There we go, secret number three. So after uh -huh. getting all three secrets, I should be... 
Did I get? Yeah, I got them all three. Yeah. So now some dudes come out. But uh, it also activated the spear guys who were actually here. Or this ice for some reason. Let's try our best to get them. Uh, so, so my take is that, okay, we've got all these cards, but they're all super expensive. Like, regardless of how well they perform, 1600 bucks is sort of the bottom of these cards, and yeah, there'll be more cards later on that will flesh out the bottom, but we'll talk about the top card being 3000 Australian, uh, it's like really unheard of, but perhaps that's just a fault number two with NVIDIA's naming system here. It's not necessarily that you know, they've named the 4090, like, or the 4090's uh -huh. price as much. Because the generational improvement is there. The one thing I guess you can rip on is that the card uh, isn't really price competitive with uh, the last gen cards, if that makes sense. The 3080, uh, I think I, I even, yeah, I, I, I had a, a theory on this. Imagine that the 3080 was 70% of the performance of the 40. The 3080 Ti, sorry, was 70% of the performance of the 4080, uh, uh, which might be the case. Um, it might not, but it might be the case. Um, where well, that leopard's going? Where is he? It's a, it's a mirror. The mirror has come to attack me. Um, it might be the case. Uh, and then, yeah, imagine that it was 70% of the price. This is price stagnation. This is like what we want to preferably avoid. We want the new architectural advancements to be more economical to make and to to buy as, a, as an end consumer. Um, it's nice to be able to punch more in the card itself. I don't know what's the point of coming down this whole ledge, isn't it? Um, that guy's following me, I guess. Um, but preferably, you know, if a card performs 70% more, sorry, if it, yeah, if a card performs like 50% more or so, um, but also cost 50% more, well, the only value that really has to an end user is whether they weren't able to run games that they wanted to before. Um, and ultimately, that's what we kind of want to be buying. We want to be buying the cards that push us past the post. And just that. What's the, what's the cheapest card that gets you past the post? Uh, and to some degree, if, if graphics uh, fidelity is important, because in, in the realm of uh, upscaling and all that stuff, graphics cards now, um, yeah, it's decently important. Um, okay, so that put us in here, which is like, that, that'd be great if I had a key or something, but I don't have a key. So why did I go all that way? Just to get a secret? Maybe. It actually might be a maybe. I gotta deal with the motorbike guy. Unfortunately, I can do it while on a ledge, so he can't hit me. And he's gone. And he's back. Um, so yeah, so imagine that the the 3080 Ti was then oh, it's it's a linear price conversion, and it's 70% of the price uh, of the the 4080. If the if if the 4080 is 1600 bucks, 70 percent of the price puts the 3080 Ti at 1200 dollars, which is Australian, which is kind of where it already is. There's been sales with the 3080 Ti at that price, which means uh, like definitely you know we're we're talking about the launch price of a graphics card compared to its uh, sales after a couple of years price. Um, but it's also like, well, I mean, when that card comes out in November, the 4080, um, the 4090 comes out October 12, I believe. Um, when that comes out, it's, it's like, well, it's price competitive with the 3080, uh, in the sense of it will deliver the same power to price ratio. Uh, it's not 
that's not exactly a, a horrendous thing, um, because ultimately uh -huh. as well, well, it is, you know, more powerful. It's, uh, that's a flare. Whoops. Can I, can I hit escape on that? There you go. Um, I scrolled over thinking I had two minutes, uh -huh. so I was just like looking off to the side. Um, I'm not doing a good job of, uh, getting these levels, uh, done in one stream though, am I? And again, why is a door not open? I could probably jump that. I don't know if I really should be able to. And that door never opened for me earlier. It showed me it. Well, I'm not going to be able to jump it like that. Bit cheeky, but... Uh, I'm going to try one more, but... Yeah, I'm now thinking maybe maybe it's not a jumpable. It feels so jumpable, but it's not. Oh, because should was that was that a switch? I just ignored pulling. That's not a switch. That's a door. What's there a door here? What's down here? And that is very death. Okay. And that's a door, not a block. Like I can't pull it. Ah. Uh, and next to it is also <laughs> just a wall. Um, they, didn't, they didn't hide one last switch up here. Oh my gosh, they did. Well, at least I didn't look it up. I gotta fight the two dudes, so... Um, yeah, ultimately, I mean, if these cards aren't going to target the same price range, we shouldn't expect, like, well, sorry, it'd be nice, it would be really nice. Uh -huh. But ultimately, you know, if a card is going to release at a higher price point than what uh, the previous year's cards were doing, um, maybe I should ride in the bike up here. Yeah, maybe I should. Uh, then, like, ultimately, these cards aren't for us. Which is kind of bizarre, but uh, I think I think there is like some proof in the pudding. Proof in the pudding? That's not the right phrase. Uh, but there, uh, there's something ultimately at the end of the day of yeah, these cards cost double the amount, or rather, rather the cheapest of these cards cost double the amount of of the PS5. And that's the PS5 after they raised the price rate. Oh. Kill this guy from the distance, but I can't turbo. I'm gonna hope that I don't need the turbo one. Uh, did I pick up a key on the way in? No. I did not pick up a key on the way in. Well, let's hope there's a key around here. Do you have a key? Do you have a key, my, my good sir? I would really like a key. Uh -huh. Oh, he had a key on him. Sick. <laughs> Pop that key in. Pop that sucker in. And... What door did that open? Oh, this one. And it's a leopard. And I'm falling. At least I know where the key was. Uh, um, um, but, yeah, I... Like, I would love to be able to buy a new graphics card. And, to some extent, you know, is this the right time for me to buy a new graphics card? Maybe. I don't know. But, ultimately, at the end of the day, if you're not happy with buying a card that's 900 US dollars, or a card that's 1200 US dollars, or a card that's uh, 1600 US dollars. Don't. Some people are going, oh, wait until AMD releases theirs. Uh, uh -huh. That's if AMD releases a $900 graphics card. Uh, the key thing, uh -huh. I guess one thing in the pricing scheme is uh, um, TSMC just uh, asked for way more money uh, for production costs. So production costs are definitely up. Uh, 
Um, I think there is a degree as well of just Nvidia is pushing the prices higher because they know people will just will buy these cards for these prices. Uh, but we as consumers, the most important part is we as consumers should go, ah, do we really need cards that expensive? I'm a little bit on the fence about the 3060, but I'll definitely tell you the 3060 Ti is a super capable card. I I would also argue the RX 6600 or the 6600 XT or the 6700 XT are really good cards. You don't need to go really crazy overboard with your graphics cards. Um, there are really powerful graphics cards out there, but they're mostly replacing. The, uh, the dual cards that used to exist, cards like the GTX 690, or uh, there's a there's a um, uh, an R9 3090, uh, or oh, sorry 390 um, X2, as in there's two uh, 390s stapled together, um, and they're implicitly crossfired on one card, and it's it's chunky. It takes in four PCIe power points, four eight pin PCIe power points. Um, and this came out in like 2015, I think. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's an older card, like, there used to be this desire to have lots of grunt in a single card. Uh -huh. um, and it still is, it's just, we've moved from the multi-card approach, and in order to replace that, because unfortunately, yeah, if you don't have cards like the 3090 and the 30 and the 49, uh, you supply no benefit to the people who bought to, uh, I guess, uh, 2080 Ti's and put them in Envy. People will put 1080 Ti's in, in Envy. They, like, that's the kind of crowd they're replacing. Uh, and on top of that, that they know... Oh, sorry, they're, they're trying to uh, upgrade, I guess. For, for us as gamers, we never really... Like, a 1080 Ti is a super powerful card, but like at the time, it was like, yeah, I mean, a 1080 Ti pushes you so far past the post, and it's great for 4K, but like, yeah, if you're 1080p gaming, you don't need that cross power and ultimately yeah we at the end of the day need to go hey like do you actually need that horse power and are you really willing to pay that much for it because ultimately price of performance hasn't gotten worse we like the old cards still exist and are at decent prices um decent not amazing but i think that especially in amd's camp they've got a lot of really great cards if you're just playing games um Doing other productivity things, uh, definitely uh, an NVIDIA card um, might be, unfortunately, uh, your only option if you're locked into CUDA, like I probably will be. We drop down into the water and uh, we swim out. And there we go, one level done. And suddenly now we're in another just kind of icy room. Uh, one level done, 48 minutes on the stream. Oh boy, I'm gonna try my best to keep this in a good time. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, let's just save straight. So this level is uh, Fool's Gold. There's a, there's a trend of gold in these levels. The trend of enemies just coming out of all the woodworks. Oh my gosh. Already losing all my health, jeez. I don't think the health is as like as a crazy type, but oh gosh, there's another one. Ah, jeez. And he's he's really chipping at me, jeez. Um, yeah. Ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, I, and I think especially given how short the presentation of the cards were compared to Nvidia talking about data center, talking about data science, talking about all their industrial applications mm -hmm. of these cards. I think, really? Like, I personally see it? The only people who should be buying these cards are people who are doing more than games. They're doing, they're doing game dev, they're doing video processing, they're doing, um, uh, like, folding uh, with proteins, they're doing, uh, neural network research. If you're playing a game, you should wait. You should really wait on these cards. You should not be getting them, especially not getting them day one. Um, and uh, if you're going for productivity, don't buy a 3090 Ti right now. 
Like that's that's the one card I will just say don't buy right now because that's the one uh, the value is not there. Um, I think Nvidia needs to figure out a better naming scheme. I would have think. I'm sorry. I I would think that the oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> at least at least I'm back down here. But like oh my gosh, how do you deal with a flamethrower guy? I'm trapped in this room. I, th I think you'll get back out in the main room, but uh. It's like a well, okay then moment, you know? Oh, he's running away from me. There we go. Uh. But yeah, I, I would think that a better naming scheme would be, uh, well, a, a naming scheme that introduces just as many problems, but I think people wouldn't have complained, is if they called it the 4080, which regularly, the 4090, and the 4100. Uh, the biggest issue, I, I do see people posting online, and it feels a bit inorganic, um, this idea of calling it a $900.4070. Like, the, the problem with calling it a $900.4070 US dollars, um, because that's the, that was the price of it, is that it's a bit, like, you've taken the, the step of looking up that it's a different chip, but then you've, like, decided to, like, stick with the original price. Like, I think it's, it is a bit of a lose-lose situation for NVIDIA where they're going to call it the 4070 and then people complain that it's super duper expensive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I didn't even save again because I'm just like, oh, I've got enough health. <sighs> this is why. This is why. How about let's pull out the shotgun? I didn't get. Oh no, I did. I did get the shotgun. There we go. Just thinking the shotgun's gonna help me a lot. Uh huh. Uh. But yeah, I either people are gonna complain because you know the 4080 is underpowered in, in relative to a 3080, which again it's basing purely off specs. The one big thing these cards have. Um, is lots of L2 cache. Uh, it's like there's 6 megs on 3080 12 gig and 5 megs on the 3080 10 gig. And there's 48 megs on both of the 3080s and 96 on the 30, on the 4090. Um, I'm sorry if I keep mixing them up. Just, if there's a higher number, just assume it's the 40 series card. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think I can deal with that. Okay, okay. I'm a bit, I'm a bit toasty. Lara Butt. Oh, I got him! The problem was there were two of them. I got one, but... Here's number two. Well, there's number two. Let's save here. It's a very good spot. Um, yeah, so either either people complain about the stripped down specs of the 4080 12 gig compared to uh, the 30 or well, the 3080, which is what's happening, or if they called it 4070, people would complain that a 4070 is 900 bucks. The fact that people do complain that it's a 4070 that's 900 bucks is, I think, kind of missing the point. Is that it's not that it's a 4080 that costs 900 bucks is that it's a $900 GPU that performs like you would expect a $900 GPU to probably perform. Exactly as you'd expect. To a fault. Because we don't want a $900 GPU to perform as well 
linearly above the other GPU. We want it to be more powerful. And if it's not, well, sorry, we want it to be better efficiency-wise. Uh, best we can say is, well, at least power-wise, it's not consuming more, and that's it. It's not really any better on your wallet, so... Uh, yeah. At the end of the day as well, also, the, the people buying 4090s, like, ultimately, they want... That's your first secret, uh -huh. by the way. Uh, ultimately, they want the most juice out of that card. Uh -huh. They want that card to, you know, do wonders. And, uh... Well... <sighs> until anyone can compete with that, because the 3090, in games, definitely was competed with the 6900 XT. But... Productivity's a bit all, all over the place. Sure. Um, and then the 3090 Ti consistently was the best card. For the price, certainly the 6900 XT, like, was a, you know, a great performer. And given how cheap the 6900 XT is, it goes for as much as a 3080. And it's clearly a better performer in games. But it's not, uh, it's not the better performer in games that people want. It's, it's, it's the fact that it's the only CUDA card they, you know, that does the job. Uh, it's a very dim room here. Is that just where I was in? Like, this is just the side room? It is. Is there anything in the water? It, it looks like it a little bit, but not quite. Oh, Papa! Papa, where do you come from? Jeez. Uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> I, I would, I would like to mildly plug, uh, my Mastodon, but I think I also tweeted out bits of this. The NVIDIA stuff really fascinates me. It's just like, it's a, it's a bizarre world. Um, oh, the, yeah, the reason why I call it disingenuous is, sorry, the, the dollar thing is that I see it posted in a lot of places. Like, just someone makes the claim, it gets upvoted crazy, and then it's like, kind of, taken as fact, but it's like, what is the fact? That it's a product that you just don't like? Like, I don't see it being inefficient in price, I just see it being impractical, as in, you personally don't need a card that performs as well as it does. Like, that that's your catch. I would like NVIDIA to release their uh -huh. full stack of cards, because I... I think their strengths are that, you know, they have a, they used to have a card for every purpose. Um, and if there's a good deal on a 1660, you know, or a 1650 Super, like, those cards, great for their price. But until then, well, these cards are just not for us. Well, maybe the 30, uh, the 4080 is for, for me. Because, uh, I do do a bit of that stuff on the back. Hugging face is uh, a guilty pleasure, just observing the unknown. Are we allowed to have pictures of Stalin on Twitch? I there'd, there'd be a lot of like historical, like well, not historical games, but games based on history, and it's like, I think it's okay. There's a, there's a thing with having, um, Hitler. You're not allowed Hitler if your stuff is... I I'm just gonna have my stream banned in Germany. But, uh, you know what I mean. Like, if you're, if you're a German viewer, it's like... Uh -huh. I don't know what's the specific reason why you can't even uh -huh. depict the guy. I feel like a lot of Western media portrays him as a... As, you know, he's the, he's the big World War II enemy. You know? And it's like... I don't know. I don't really thought about it. It's a big politics situation, but uh, it's like how um, yeah, Wolfenstein 2, It's like you gotta heavily like censor that thing. So here we go. Big outdoor area. This guy's coming out of everywhere. Uh, so yeah, end of the day. Uh, yeah, if you think the 4090 and all that stuff is super expensive. The, the good reason is 
that it's not going to be the card for you. It's the flagship card, and it's in that spot where, well, it's probably going to be the best card for a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it doesn't matter what price it is, someone's going to buy it because it's the best card at that time. And uh, it's a market mm -hmm. we can't really reason with <laughs> in, a, in a capitalism kind of sense. Like, they could be pricing it, whatever, mm -hmm. and... The, the most just going as like a, well, I mean, you know, if they double the price, does it halve the number of customers? And, uh, I guess if they halve the price, it's not going to double the number of customers, so they've, they've chosen mm -hmm. the point. Also supply, they kind of, you know, <laughs> there's a limited supply, so if, uh, if their process is good enough that they can produce such good chips, uh, well, as long as they've got enough, uh, uh the layman's. Let's get on to the roofs. This is actually a really nice area. It looks like a real area at a distance. Once you start looking at it like too hard and you start going like, ah, you know, how blocky it is. Like, uh, ultimately, this uh, set of levels is still very Tomb Raider 2. Uh, I mean, we're getting, we're getting harassed by birds. I don't know how much less Tomb Raider 2 you can get. Uh, let's travel off in here. I believe the key... we're looking for a key card from someone. Oh, it's shooting me at this point. It's like, oh my gosh, hello. If you stand... And I just realized I died. I swear I was on a bit of health just earlier. Oh my goodness, I didn't save for so long. Please yell at me. Please actually yell at me. I'm never gonna finish this. I'm never gonna finish this, I swear. Listen, I'm gonna put in the effort. I'm gonna put in the effort. I actually, I really appreciate Doom source ports that have resurrect codes. Because it's just like... I know, I'm such an idiot. I died, okay? And I wasn't quick saving like a, like a maniac. I wasn't looking in the corner for that little tiny bit of hell that's on my screen. I'm a terrible person. I'm terrible. Uh -huh. Uh, speaking of terrible person, uh, and segue into, uh, the internet seems to have two modes. Either something is amazing and infallible, and something is, uh, the worst and has no redeeming qualities. There's, there's never any piece of media that sits nicely in between, uh, it always is one or the other, and sometimes it's transitory, as in it changes from one to the other. Um, the example in this case is Cyberpunk 2077 might be a game, might be a game that I'd mentioned probably on my earlier streams, uh, just shy of two years ago, um, because it just came out, and, uh, the consensus, and I thought well, at the time, was that the game was unfinished, it was buggy, it had the content, but it was, like, it, you know, there were soft locks, there were uh, hard box at times. There were, um, I am not gonna be able to pick up that shotgun ammo. It's just, oh no, uh -huh. I got it. Uh, it would just do things that were really unexpected. Characters would depose, animations would work, textures would not load in. Lots of just, it's engine problems. It's, it's stuff that isn't necessarily the game doing anything particularly wrong. I think the worst you could say about the game is, uh, uh -huh. it's not groundbreaking, other than its, um, use of animation. Uh, I feel like the animation is certainly, like, when it stands out, it's really, really solid. Um, okay, look at that. I'm gonna save, like, part way. Gosh, I, I got so complacent with not saving, I swear. But I gotta shoot these guys at a distance, too, so pull out the pistols. Um... But, yeah, I remember people were ripping on it because it was running poorly. And, granted, I will 100% accept, if you are a person and you buy a video game and the video game doesn't run, uh -huh. you are well within your right to be very upset about that game. I know I was incredibly upset with uh, GTA 4 the first time I bought it, and I had my um, 580, uh -huh. which 
No, sorry, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. GTA 4, I think I was, I, the first time I ran it, I had my 9500 GT. And, uh, listen, yeah, that, uh, that card did not. It did not accept playing that game. Um, Watch Dogs, I had a 580, which was a three-year-old card at that point, but it was also the 580. It was the best single card, um, of, like, that generation. And it was a fairly good card. In fact, like, the, six, the 680 was good. The 780 was a bizarre refresh. Like, people didn't like the 780, like, too much for its price. Uh -huh. um, and then I think the 980 was out that year. Um, so I got a 980 to play Watch Dogs. And the 980 did the job, and it was perfectly fine. But the 580 just didn't. The 580 was just, like, a no-go. Um, and it was really bizarre. Uh, so, if the game, like, runs, but it's buggy, it can be a deal breaker, and I'll just say, eh, I stopped. But, uh -huh. people were ripping on Cyberpunk for more than that. Ooh, single shot. One shot wonder. Um, people were ripping on Cyberpunk for everything. They would pull the whole, uh -huh. tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies kind of marketing, which granted, they did talk about multiplayer mode and that mode is still absent from any particular roadmap. Uh, can devs stop talking about features that aren't really done? Like, or rather, can people stop taking features that aren't done, they've not shown any of it, and treat it like gospel, like just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a two-way street. Um, But, uh, they're definitely, there we go, open that door, is it the door next to me? How about let's save, look at that, I'm frequently saving, I've done it, I've done it, I've learned how to frequently save. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, oh look, a chip and a dog, is this dog in a cage? Nice, uh, cage in heaven now. Um, but, yeah, people were ripping on Cyberpunk for, for just, like, gameplay mechanics that, like, seemed innocuous. Uh, I, I shall say as well, just a heads up, I've not played the game. So my opinion is very neutral. Um, I'm not, I don't have particularly any strong opinions other than, yeah, if it doesn't run, it really sucks. It's, it, games shouldn't release in buggy mm -hmm. states. Games should release in as good a state as possible. Because I don't really like games going all revisionist on how well they go. Uh, but now introduce Cyberpunk Edge Runners. A, uh, um, I guess, I don't know what exactly is promoting what. Is the game promoting the the Netflix anime? Is it a Netflix anime? I think it's a Netflix anime. Um, is the game promoting that, or is the? Oh, everyone likes a dim room, and I'm pretty sure there's rats everywhere as well. I'm definitely hitting something. Oh, hi there. Oh, I <laughs> just noticed my health. Look at that. I mean, one good thing I saved the moment. Oh, but also. You gonna come back around? Oh, there he goes. I got one shot. And he got stuck. And he's very stuck. times they'll be gone. Uh, oh. I get him? I did. It's, it's very dim. I'm giving people uh, epilepsy, but no, I swear he is totally gone. Uh, uh -huh. But yeah, so there's a new anime to promote Cyberpunk the game. Or vice versa, but uh, there's a new update in the game that has some association. Suddenly, people are playing Cyberpunk. I have nothing to say about the anime, by the way. Uh, uh -huh. People are definitely liking it. Um, uh -huh. And, you know, like, fair point. Fair, fair call. If you enjoy this anime, enjoy it. But why, you know, don't let anyone get you down on that one. Uh, but suddenly, people are kind of going a bit revisionist on how 
atrocious cyberpunk was being treated. Suddenly, all of the game was always good. Yeah, it was buggy, but once you got past the bugs, the game is amazing. I'm like, huh? Like, suddenly now it, it is infallible. It's, you know, the game is perfect. Why is it not on anyone's game of the year list? It's... I, did he just come back just to spite me from the grave? It's very dim, but I believe you're supposed to get this bike out. And then you're gonna have to do the fun thing of like working away around the whole room. Did he work away around the whole room or did he just... Sure, yeah, I'll accept that. Go, 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 go. So I think actually, oh, I'm not 100% sure if you uh, drive out now. I want to say. I want to say I got a key card for that door. And there's a guy on a snowmobile up there, and he's totally gonna ruin my day if he pops down the ledge and gets me. So I'm just gonna hope he stays up there. I just wanna double check. Did I get this keycard? Yeah, I did. This is very important because this opens this door, and then suddenly you get you get told about that. Um, and I believe what you gotta do. It's a, it's a really bizarre secret, and this is the reason why I wrote it down first, is you gotta go left here. You gotta go right here. And suddenly, yeah, this door is just closed before, and suddenly it's now open. And what do you walk through? And, uh, climb up the ledge. And I wrote down there's a dog that comes out that says hi. I don't know if it's after the switch. I don't see no- oh! There's, there's two dogs! There's three dogs! <laughs> I wrote down three dogs, okay, sure. And then, uh... Oh, there it is! It's just chilling there. I believe this is over the starting room. But, uh... Yeah, interesting. Just a real interesting, like, secret spot. I don't know why it's there. But sure. Uh, so suddenly, yeah, people are very... Revisionist about cyberpunk, uh, and it's like Okay, uh, so I had so one of my mates started playing it again in The first not the first in one of the opening cutscenes They just had characters T posing moving around Not reacting to the fact they're supposed to be moving. They're just T posing uh, Now it's not unheard of for games to have bugs, but T-posing is certainly in my camp of fixable, quirky bugs that shouldn't really be happening. I I don't really accept T-posing. If, if it's a bug, I expect it to be something jank, like a collision just working really oddly, um, or a... Uh, What's a, a, a collision working jank? A, um, uh, like someone sequence broke, like something like that. A, a guy T posing is kind of like you have no control over that. That just kind of sounds like your computer, like, was running too fast for the game. No. Sorry, or, or rather, parts of the game finish and then it was not ready for other parts. They just decided to, to call it quits. Uh, but like, ultimately, it's like, well, it's the game's fault for like not synchronizing uh -huh. that. It just, it just went with it. Uh, I can't believe I got this key card. Not the red one. But sure, I'll accept the red one. Pop that in there, pop that sucker in there, and we open another door. And, oh, I gotta, I gotta press a door and run quick. 
Okay. Uh, the moral of the story is, this isn't really a rip on Cyberpunk, this is just a rip on how popular internet seems to... Well, it, it's one, inconsistent, and two, uh, a bit ingenuous at times. It's a, it's a fickle beast, the internet, so, end of the day, don't play it too, don't, well, don't, don't take it too important. I, I probably said a couple of stories uh, over, over the course of two years of streams that have ultimately been, Lendo pays too much attention to the internet when really he should, and fair point, but, uh, it's kind of irritating how it's like, you know, uh, like, if something is written in a positive way, and you don't feel it's genuine, like, what's the answer? What What is actually the reason? Is it, like, I originally was thinking, maybe I don't understand things. Like, there were games that came out and people highly, highly claimed, and I'm just sitting there going, Hey, it's fine. Or like, hey, it's like, it's okay. I'm about to get into Let's get real torn. The shotgun guys, I swear. Okay, okay. Good muscle, good muscle. There we go. Sick. These guys aren't dropping anything, are they? They're just falling over. Weird, but sure. Okay. There's a new guy down there. And he's gone. I didn't really get to use the snowmobile at all, did I? I just kind of... Oh. oh, no. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't just jump off. Uh, does that mean I could just ignore him and just leave? Like, just go into the next area? Oh. I don't want to drop like that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that drop, but jeez, bro. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know, I could start thinking, um, more nefarious means, as in, uh, it's, a uh, undescript advertising. It's like, it's a bunch of bot accounts, not bot accounts, but that's not the right term, but you know what I mean, where it's like, there's a bunch of just fake users, people who aren't really legitimate opinions, or alternatively, uh, and it's not unheard of. The real people who have been silently paid off to write a positive thing on Reddit with a side of choice. Trigger all the barrels. Is there any reason to come up here? It's kind of weird that Lara's not like completely pitch black when like... Oh, okay. There's a spot with a card key? Is this where the yellow card goes again, or do I need a new one? Oh, yeah, yeah, I picked up a second yellow card key one. I have released... The Hound Doors. The Hound Doors? I don't know where I'm going with that. Oh, oh, never mind. This is the Hound Doors. This is the real Hound Doors. I didn't... Oh, I picked up the M4. I forgot about that one. I've not gotten really any other guns besides the shotgun, which is really all you need when you think about it. Uh, except when that happens. Did I just save? Yeah, okay. Alright, all good. I got the water there, but, uh, it's not a convenient spot. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like, it, and if, on the flip side, if something's getting astroturfed, sometimes, is it getting astroturfed because of negative press? Like, I, I mentioned the whole... 40, 70, 900 bucks thing, and I'm like, man, you know, like, like, it doesn't trend like that. Someone's, someone's gotta, like, come up with the opinion that it's a uh, 40, 70 to start off with. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too much into it, but 
like, the internet's trying to change my opinion. There's a, there's a lot of, like, you're a bad person if you believe like this, or you side with this, or something along the lines. They put more of these flamethrowers. At least I'm on the side with the water. Jeez, they're going in full on there. Uh, I am perusing around little tiny alleyways. There's a guy breathing to my left. There's a guy breathing behind me. There is a guy breathing somewhere. I don't know where he's breathing from, but I, <laughs> I intend to make him cease breathing. Uh, oh, maybe they're down there. Okay, this one's a tricky, a tricky picky. Okay, you gotta not do that, because you know, I'm gonna fall to my death. <laughs> the end of the level is like, fairly shortly after that. But, you gotta be up the left here, because the secret is hidden behind that large ledge. So maybe it's just a standing jump. That. Oh. There we go. It's just hiding back here. It's a really, like, tricky hidden uh -huh. one. You're never gonna find that if you're walking normally. Uh, so that's six secrets. I'm glad I've been writing them down and remembering where they are, but... Well, <laughs> now I gotta make it out of this level alive. Um, so I believe the best way... ...is to... ...work on this guy, and not die to the guy at the top on the other end. They're just tricky, picky spots. Oh boy. It's not really a better spot, is it? Actually, do I just drop down? Do I just go for it? I want to say that's a ladder on that side. In fact, actually, that's the whole point of this. You're getting, you're getting kind of pinched. You gotta drop down like this, and then... There you go. Okay, well, you need maybe a bit more health, or alternatively... You fall down the ledge a bit differently. <laughs> try it again, we'll try it again. Once more with gusto. Oh, that's a bit too much gusto. Too much gusto, Lara. Uh, another mildly weird uh, news, I played uh, Metro Last Light. I did a, a binge playthrough. Oh, it's because I, I took a shot. I really should just like heal when I get to that ledge. Um, but I played Metro Last Light and uh, it was on my shame list of uh, games that I've owned in my Steam library for, for ages, but I never got around to playing. Uh, and Metro Last Light is particularly one of them because this is the original version, not the, the Redux version. Um, there you go. So if I think I have a drop down on this ledge, I'll have enough health to... There you go. Survive the drop. Let's save here. This will be a good spot to save. There we go. Lots of skeletons. Always good stuff. And that's the end of the level. See, I was panicking so much, and then I was just, just like, ah. There you go. Uh -huh. uh, so all four of these levels, by the way, they take place in the same um, set of levels. Uh, the fifth bonus level is a bit unique, but we'll get to that. Oh. Uh -huh. Everyone likes a good skeleton, don't they? That's for next month, though. If you're playing a spooky game uh -huh. already, I'm sorry, man. You, you jumped the gun one month early. Uh, they're definitely using these dim corridors, though. Ooh, this is a real interesting angle. Ah, rat! Uh -huh. He's biting my toes. Get off, rat. Don't want ya. See where they want me to go. Ah. Oh, spiky boy. 
Oh, there's another spiky boy coming the other way. They're gonna Z fight. Oh, you probably, you probably can't see the Z fighting. Very spooky tombs, though, I'll tell you that. I don't know, they wanted to chase uh -huh. you down the corridor, and here, here I am, going, ah, yes. I found the, uh -huh. the automatic pistols, though. That's cool. And there's more rats, why not? out the block. Actually, I think the block... Not too, I can't remember if the block stops the, the the spikes coming up. It's been forever since I played this, I'll tell you that. Okay, so... Okay, a dim corridor, and then we move up into blue room. It's a very blue room. The sleeping dog. Uh, we have this wonderful idol and various uh -huh. starry people who then turn out to just be regular dudes. In fact, actually, j just like the regular Tomb Raider 2, they don't attack you. Even though you just took their goodies. And there's wolves everywhere. I guess if you don't hit them, they don't hit you. Like they, I don't... You're the one taking their stuff. I don't know why they accept that, but sure, okay. I think you gotta do some cheeky platforming up here. Uh, or down there. Down there seems a bit more likely. Uh, down we go. Oh, very down we go. Bit of swimming. like little tiny bits in the wall. Lots of rats, jeez. Uh, but yeah, no, Metro Last Light I thought was a decent game. It was, it's a, it's a first-person shooter developed by, uh, Ukrainian studio uh -huh. 4A Games. Um, I think they're Ukrainian. I think, yeah. Uh, -huh. uh and, uh, it's the second of the three Metro titles, the first being Metro 2033. Uh -huh. A game I played, uh, 2016, I think. Uh, I didn't like it. I was like, yeah, no, this is generic as heck. It looks nice for a 2010 game, but it is very, very 2010 in gameplay. It's so weird. Um, Metro Last Light has a couple of saving graces, particularly there's a couple of areas where you get a lot more free reign. You get the ability to traverse ground without anyone really being there to tell you, hey, Arturum, come over here and look at my my painting or something like that. Um, uh -huh. It's it's a lot more organic, this game. There's actually one level in particular, which, uh, calling it open world is a stretch, but effectively you have to uh, get two uh, gas cans and then, like, a... Uh, a lever or something you have to get three things across the map and uh you don't really get told where it is you just kind of go out you, you get more you're thrown into this kind of openish room of uh outdoorsiness ah here you go yeah yeah so you gotta do this cheeky jump there's a ladder on this side Big cheeky ladder climb, right here. Uh, a really long ladder climb. What a thrill. Uh, so I thought that part was kind of neat. I actually, I didn't mind... Oh, actually, I thought some of the parts near the end of the game were a bit like, oh, okay, like, sure. Um, not necessarily in terms of story, although it's definitely... Um, 
basic. It's like, ah, okay, like, yeah, it's a kid alien, I guess. And the kid alien likes you, and everyone's very judgmental about it. And it's like, sure, so... They've effectively just invalidated your... Your, your, uh, your bad ending by just going like, yeah, the whole reason of the bad ending is that your character doesn't learn enough about... The Dark Ones to realize that they're friendly, and then he decides to learn enough about the Dark Ones to realize they're friendly, but also the ending... Or the, the game has to effectively start... Oh, that's... yep, okay. The game has to effectively start on the bad ending of the first game, so like, eh, okay. Uh... Other than that though, like, it is a fair bit more, uh, involved, but it's also... Sorry, not involved. It's... The stealth sections actually seem to work. I actually found there was a really nice bit uh -huh. where I got away from someone. I was like, oh, he snapped. That was pretty neat. Uh, you're also decently encouraged to just not even engage. Just walk past people. You know? And I thought that was kind of cool. Um, bullets were kind of pointless. Bullets are your currency, which sounds cool on paper until you realize that, like, you're shooting with them on the... Um, the assault rifles and so I was just like okay I stuck with this uh it, it looks like a pistol but it, it fired shotgun bullets so I think it was like a really like not a not a sawn off but uh like a short stock just kind of weapon uh I don't really know my shotgun so I can't tell you what uh, a short shotgun really should be like but um it was definitely kind of an interesting weapon also a three weapon limit is a bit more refreshing than a two um just feels like you get, you know, a bit more ability to try out different uh -huh. things. Uh, stealthing is too good though, there's not really, um, any reason to not stealth. Uh, you don't get, like, experience points, but it's certainly just simpler and kind of too easy. The enemies, uh, don't spot you at all when you're standing right next to them, purely because your dark indicator is on or off. You are not standing in the light, so therefore they can't see you uh, even when you go right up to them uh, and then you slap them out. Uh, is there any benefit for me not slapping them out? I don't know. But... Uh, I think some dudes come out to, to greet me in a moment, so I'm gonna queue them up. Hi there. Well, at least, at least the guys with the spears are joining in, like, way too late. Uh -huh. Hold on, I gotta get the Uzi ammo. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh my gosh, I think they've actually got- Oh! Jesus, he's red at batting, I tell ya. And... Someone told me off for not saving. Oh, I saved just here. Okay. <laughs> but I didn't kill him, so it doesn't really count, does it? Also, I guess, just remember, this is level 3 out of 4, so... Not too far off the money. Who is getting me with the automatic fire? Get him! Alright, we're cool, right? I was just- Oh, we're not cool. We're not cool. <laughs> okay. Well, they're gonna absolutely terrorize me, so. One more take. One more take. I'm amazed I didn't get them to aggro me in the base game, even though I swear I had, like, blind-fired a lot of them before. I wish I had the Uzis, though. The Uzis are where it's at. Where's that guy come from? Is he, like, from the right, or does he just, like, spawn in when you- Move too far forward. There's a guy over there. Get him, spiky boys. Get him. Get him. There you go. There's another one. Get him. Get him. Good on you, fellas. Uh -huh. Good stuff. 
Let's get that small health while we're at it. Uh -huh. There we go. There's not going to be another one that just comes in out of nowhere, is he? No, I think we're pretty clear. There's some health over here. Look at this golden uh -huh. river, by the way. Everyone loves a good golden river. It's like the chocolate river in, in Willy Wonka. It's just golden river. You know, don't need to say anything else. This looks like a dead end. Yeah. Is this a block? No, nope. that's just that's just the end of the room. So this is obviously what I just opened up. The question is, ah. Such a cheeky exit, I'll tell you that. It's just up here. Alright, it is at this point that I go, ah. What were they what were they thinking? Where is there like a mythological thing? I guess Furnace of the Gods, maybe that's something on Wikipedia. Someone can like double check on that. But uh I think of it and I'm like, man, you know, this is a uh, gold river. The entire thing is made out of gold. It's tomb rated to gold. We fight a golden mask. Uh, there's a giant gold river here. It's streaming down. It's obviously like hot and fiery. You don't want to touch it. But it's just like, man, you know, that's a that's a fiery, fiery river. And uh, you just got to climb it. Like, uh, very Tomb Raider 1 I guess. And you got these little, like, these little, uh, side cuts here, and they've got, I don't know, someone dropped a, a, a green cross medkit just here, I don't know. Uh, you gotta find your way up and over. Um, I want to say that diagonal ledge may be safe, but let's see. Greetings, Blub, how are you doing? Uh, no. A no go on that one. Maybe this is just a ledge and I just walked into it kind of weirdly. Oh, it slopes down. I'm looking for a way up the Golden River. Uh, perhaps there's some love over there. That seems like a jump. That's That feels like a jump. Oh, oh. <laughs> a bit hot. A little bit hot. Um. Yeah. Uh, tired. Don't say you're too tired, because I'm, I'm just gonna, like, say, are you a bicycle? Yeah. I think you gotta do a, do a uh. lean jump. You just gotta, like, lean forward into that the whole way. But it feels like that's the jump you make. It's, I mean, it's a ledge. It's right here. Uh, yeah, why are you tired, Mr. Blob? Alright, maybe you gotta <sighs> lean on the left side so you can actually grab the ledge. Instead of just... Hitting the, hitting the lava. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit precarious, but sure. I wish the camera wasn't doing that, though. Okay. <laughs> Nope. It just feels too far away then. So there must be a better way. We've got some ledges above. But how do you get above but over there? Uh, this isn't concealing a, a slope that I could stand on, right? Well, it's a bit of a drop, so... No. Uh... Hmm. That, that ledge on the right really looks appealing. I can't particularly think of any other ledge around here that really looks climbable though. Like unless I can somehow do a long jump here and it's just, it's not a slope after a while, but it is still a slope. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Can we just climb up here? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, no. We're all good. We're all good. 
just climb up the wrong ledges, you know. It's just like that. And then, uh, one great leap for mankind right here. Look at that, someone put automatic pistol ammo standing in the middle. Birds, birds, who put the, who released the birds in the Golden River? This is my Golden River section, I don't need birds. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need a diagonal jump here. Uh, so let's, uh, listen, when it's platforming, I save. When it's guys shooting at me, uh, it, what's the, what's the, what's the problem? There's no problem. More birds, really? More birds, where, where's he hiding? Oh, there he comes. Oh, there he goes. At least he doesn't fall in the lava like his predecessor. Alright, now you gotta be real crafty because uh in my in my secrets notes, uh there's a, well, there's a real crafty jump right uh right about here. So they put the shotgun ammo here. Uh, -huh. uh your eyes should be set to that, as in that's your exit. But just before the exit, uh you should be able to spot that it actually goes down. There's really there's another bird. There's another bird. Do I just make the jump? Do I just... I'll just do the jump. Okay. So you go down here. And you see there's some, uh, micro pistol ammo right there. Yep. Do you like that? Okay. You make the jump. Not too bad for the micro pistol ammo. Uh, I've now got two birds on me. Push me. I... And then step forward, and stepping forward is enough to make you walk off a ledge. That's okay. That's why we save. Out here, bird. Shoe bird. How do you tell birds to, like, scurry off? Oh, I was I was using the, the automatic pistols the whole time. That's why. They deserve it, to be honest. I've never, like, I mean, granted, I guess the only birds that really, like, flock to where you are. Uh, how far have you come already? Uh, we're doing five levels, and this is level three. Uh -huh. So, uh, I know the last level is maybe a bit more generous. Maybe. Yeah, it's going to be a longer one today. <laughs> if it's too, if it's too funny. My rule of thumb was, like, if it's three hours and I've started like if it's three hours and I haven't finished level four I will do oh this is such a cheeky jump this is a real cheeky jump if it's four hours and I haven't started the fifth level sorry three hours and I haven't started the fifth level then it's gonna like no way but uh I don't think it's gonna be like that it might get kind of close but that's okay I'm willing to go over three hours today uh -huh. just as long as I, I get that last the last level in um, I'm not feeling that tired today, which is also pretty nice. I'm well rested. Uh, and then, yeah, you gotta do... Oh boy, I think oh, I think you could do a jump from here, but... It's equally as dicey to get back. Oh, no, it's not a jump from here. It's not a jump from there. <laughs> uh, real, real narrow ledge here, though, I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm facing the right way. Maybe. There you go. And then, uh, I think you just gotta jump right. <laughs> jump up. Oh, you can step into the... <laughs> you can step off! Why? <laughs> Why can you step off? Uh... But, uh, yeah. Uh, just, uh, just a head up, Blob. Uh, if you missed the beginning, uh, it's... Daylight Savings in Sydney. Uh, from Sunday onwards, so for the next stream, it will be an hour earlier, because, uh, that's, well, the clock goes forward an hour. So I'll be doing the two-hour thing, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. 
Uh, but yeah, if you if you tune in and the stream has stopped, uh, that, that might just be the reason why. Uh, which I guess is it's a mixed bag. It's always like tough dealing with like, especially in Australia, because it's just like your, your time zone's always like different from where most of your viewers. Oh, so here we are, the top of the river. Okay, well, I'm not going that way because there's nothing over there. This is uh, literally platforming level. We had we had the snowmobile level. <laughs> we got we got the the shooty lots of dude level, and now we're obviously in time for jumping across a river. Like uh, I mean, it's very Tomb Raider one, but I guess they made these levels for a 1999 release, and I don't know if this is just scrapped level like ideas. Or whether this is legitimately like something they made for 1999 in the same way as like thief gold if anyone played that one um because thief gold came out after thief 2 and uh the levels are gargantuan they are really massive yep there you go oh we gotta have the fish they light come then they won't go home and suddenly we're in icy land again. And that's a polar bear. That's a. He's stuck. He's stuck. Oh no! I stuck the polar. Oh, he's running. He's making a runner. He's making a runner. I think he's supposed to disappear if he goes off screen. He's he's not really disappearing, but like. Considering I can't aim at him anymore, I think he just he just bug it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, oh boy, more more. Uh, I always worry that Tomb Raider is going to do ice physics on me, but it never does. Yeah, the polar bear's hacking his wall, hacking. Oh, there's another one. Polar bears are not very friendly. I think he's doing the same thing, where he has uh -huh. thought about going in one direction, and he just has not figured it out. Uh -huh. Is that the Uzis? He was guarding the Uzis the whole time. Interesting. Oh, we're being sucked away. Briefly. Uh... Oh boy. Oh boy, ever <laughs> It's a good sign when you see a ladder. And then you gotta go right from the ladder. Oh boy. Here we go. Are we safe? Oh well, I mean that's a that's a fun thing to see on that ledge. Oh! Oh! I fell for it. I fell for the oldest trick in the book. Climbing across. Oh, I gotta go up. There we go. That was kind of interesting, though. The fact that... Uh, the boulder behind me moves back. So, I'm safe. Okay. But that is uh, certainly a pit. I guess I could lava crawl. Or is this like one of those just walk on kind of scenarios? It's like, it's just there for a bonus. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I'm on the other side of the pit. Yeah, how Tomb Raider 1 is this like area. And they're shooting at me already. They didn't even wait. 
Oh yeah, just... And I'm getting shot at. Alright, alright, alright. Quick. Quick swap, quick swap. He didn't really, he didn't really quick swap that one. He, he took a lot of damage, Lara. Uh-huh. Three shotgun? Like... Well, some uh -huh. guys earlier that were going fine, but suddenly now three shotguns. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh Oh boy. Oh boy. Somewhere in here is the key. Somewhere. Oh, I got a switch. That's a that's the first step. Uh, that's another place for the switch. It's not the most useful, but sure, okay, game. Sure, I'll, I'll accept your terms and conditions. Just rubber stamp. And there's a guy right behind me. Where is he? Where is he hiding? Shit, does he have more health? That was three shotgun blasts. He just took that. Like, I guess, uh -huh. yeah, sure, he dropped his own health, but like... Jeez. Something's going on there. Something's up. I don't recall enemies shooting like that in the base game as well, but I don't exactly trust this uh, downloadable set of levels to introduce its own enemies. I actually don't know, like, how easily you can add your own enemies into Tomb Raider levels. There's a decent modding scene, but I don't know if it's, uh... If it's, uh... Custom enemies modding. It's a big thing. Okay, we opened a big door that's just got a tiny lever on the inside. And that raised... And... Oh my gosh. I'm watching the health. I'm watching the health. Don't worry, I'm watching it. I'm watching it. That was four shotgun blasts again. He took his sweet time. Uh -huh. Oh, it flooded everything. That that makes it a little bit nicer, I guess. Uh, there you go. Look at that. I think we get this lovely gem of the south. That's a manta ray. That's a moray. <laughs> When the moon hits your eye. Uh, I think I gotta lower the water because otherwise then I can't put the gem in, right? Because it's flooding the... Oh wait, no. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Alright, pop that sucker in. And yes, that is the mask from, from earlier. Still there, still sitting there. Oh boy. Oh boy, I, re I remember this bit. This gives me a lot of like, um, anyone play a Rayman 2? You got the. Oh boy. I don't remember that happening in Rayman 2, but uh. I'm pretty sure Rayman 2 simultaneously has a level that like looks like this in the sense of like the, the big. Um. Lava, like mountain. I forgot what part of the mountain you're supposed to climb. Maybe the left part here. And they, they, they've allured me with them. And that is. I think I gotta do a really good jump there. Dang it. Just make that jump? Like, can you just go for it? He yeah, totally can. Uh huh. Uh, it's unfortunately not in this direction though that you gotta go. Uh huh. So I know you gotta scale the mountain, so I think you just gotta go on the uh, other side. Uh, while we're at it, let's just save so we can have a have a swell time doing a jump. That is totally not easy. 
totally high skill, high skill jump. Wah! It's a bit dark over here. Really dark over here. Wow. Why is it a dead end? <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. I guess you can jump this though, can't you? There you go. And then jump this next one. There you go. Uh, totally not touching the lava there. It's all fine. Move over. There we go. Yeah. I've definitely been enjoying these Tomb Raiders. I don't know how interesting they are to, to watch necessarily, so I'd appreciate uh, any feedback if anyone has any, but... Ah, they're nice, fun games to... to just go in, dive in, explore. Kind of just... Uh, I guess the... the bare metal of 3D platforming, you know? In the sense of, like, ah! It's just like, you're like, hmm, I, I look around me, what is, like, the ledges available? And you just play around with it. There's a fair bit of trial and error, there's a fair bit of camera, you know, jankery, uh, obviously the combat's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, uh, brutal at times, and it's supplemented by just providing health packs. Uh, there's a bit of that, but I think there's a, there's a lot of charm in, like, what can be done with an engine that is kind of basic, but then lets you do kind of cool things. Oh, uh, I don't think you're supposed to jump that just yet. I think the goal is to use this ladder that is conveniently around here. There we go. I don't know how I managed to do four levels in like some of those earlier streams, I'll tell you that. Actually, the first stream was like two hours fifty, wasn't it? There we go. So, if you do a crafty jump, craft single jump like that, and then uh... You gotta like do like a walking drop off here. You see there's like a ledge there? Hold on, I'll, I'll save here because I know I'm not gonna make this first go. But like, this is a kind of weird drop. Where it's like, you don't want to drop all the way, because otherwise you're going to break your legs on the slope. Uh, you kind of just want to drop... Uh, well, if I'm not breaking my legs on the slope, I'm breaking my legs on the lava. Uh, I'm going to lean right instead. I'm going to lean forward. Oh! Too far. Too far. Oh, you're going to see what I mean. Like, there's a slope there. I'm just gonna do like a jump, like a standing jump. Nope, because you you need to land there, but you need to land there maybe not as high up. Uh, up. Not quite. Still not quite. Still not quite. It's a real crafty jump this one, and you can't land like on the ledge to the right. Yeah, because if you land on the ledge to the right, well, you're behind the slope, and you're behind the ladder, and it, 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 it's not what you want. It's a real, real crafty one. Yeah, pizza now. Ooh, what kind of pizza? Ugh. I got an alternative, though. Let's just flip. Okay, the flip is not good, because you slide way too far. Lots of mozzarella and tomato, that's the best stuff. The best stuff. There you go, that's the jump. That's the tricky jump. Then, you just gotta do a running jump here. Drop down. Break your legs, because you didn't drop down quite right, and now you gotta do <laughs> that drop again. Oh my gosh, okay. It'd be a little easier if the camera was a little nicer here, but that's okay. Because I'm a perfectionist and I can do it twice. There we go. So, uh, take two. This time, you grab the ledge that has the ladder. That is the reason why you drop down. So, there you go. Uh -huh. Kong Skull Island is down here. Then you can climb your way back up. Very slowly. <laughs> what a thrill.
Yeah, I gotta scratch my eye. I always get like itchy, uh, not eyes, but just like itchy, like, um, skin also sounds wrong, because like that sounds like you develop like rashes or something. But it's just like, you get like a, like a, a tick isn't even right. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like some weird part, some weird skin just somewhere, whether it's on me, Thigh, my arm, it's just, you get, you get that itch, you're like, ugh. And, uh, sometimes it's like, it's right, like, like, on the eyelid, and you're just like, yeah, I am not satisfying that itch. That itch is just gonna stay there until it just disappears. Not a fun itch. Uh, will I grab this ladder? There you go. Who, who put this, like, wonderful ladder inside the golden... Shower is not the right word. With the golden lava room. And then they put health here, and then I think... Yeah, there's a magical drop. There is a magical drop down the bottom. Uh... It just keeps going down, and uh... What'd you like? Some cages. Oh, look at that, let's drop down one more cage. Couple of dudes, step off that. End of the level, here we go. Okay, time for some spooky spook. Uh, we are, uh, just over two hours. Which means, as long as this level goes fine, it might. This is uh, level four, so we are full captured. This, uh, but you can just you get the switch to, to, to leave. I don't know. They 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 kept you keep your weapons. They literally put Uzi ammo outside your door. Uh, the only thing is, uh, Bigfoot has come to strike again. Three of them. Maybe I should be using more than just that. Uh, my crystals, Uzis. Look at the Uzis. Uh, level 1 and 2 were, um, at like a Russian, uh, snowy base. Because there were pictures of Stalin and the hand of sickle everywhere. That's the only reason why I guess it's Russia. Um, you got the snowmobile for a moment. Hot moment. Not as much snowmobile as, uh, some of the earlier levels. I don't know how I ended up here. Because Lara clearly, like, uh -huh. has continued... So this is just still in Russia. There's one just in the cage. It's come back out. I want to say that they do. They do like this now. I know that there is a uh, another Russia level in Tomb Raider Legend, I believe, which is uh, the first of the Crystal Dynamics uh, trilogy. Is not the right word because they made the the reboot trilogy as well, but, uh, that, that, that era, 2006. Uh, oh, that's a pit, and I didn't save. I saved right at the beginning, didn't I? Yep, I saved right at the beginning like an idiot, or rather I saved at the beginning like a smart person, and then I proceeded to not save after taking out four Bigfoots. This is how I done. I got this. And then I walk forward and I walk into spikes. You know how Tomb Raider works. It just punishes me specifically. Alright, come on, Bigfoots. Show me what makes your, your feet big. That shouldn't... I didn't ask that question. Oh, he's coming with a power drive and punch. That's a fourth one. Real serious, the Bigfoots, so I'll tell you that. They mean business. Uh, let's get these, because I'm going to need them. Uh -huh. Is there a goodie over there? There is. Oh, flares. Do I really need flares? How many flares do I have? 47. You don't need uh -huh. more flares. I'm just actively going to avoid it. It saves me five seconds trying to grab that. 
speedrunning strats right here. One of those high octane speedrunning strats, you'll be on the edge of your seat. Uh -huh. Where does that guy come from? It's just... Just when you pick up that health, it's just like, yeah, just give him another one. Why not? The thing is that the Bigfoots are not very smart. They're really not that smart. Poor Bigfoots. Uh, level's called Kingdom, why not? I guess the, the point of the Golden Mask is that I've already got the mask and I need to get the heck out of here. So... Question is, which way is the way out? Uh -huh. Don't tell me that the pit is actually where you gotta go. I am I running forward? My controller decide. I think I gotta unplug and replug my controller overnight because I'm just having fun times of uh, the controller running forward. There you go. See, I get to blame the controller this time. Okay, that is double, double death, the spikes. Can you just drop down into the spikes? Can you like land on the corner? And you're technically between the spikes? Yeah. There's nothing down here. Stab myself with the spikes. What is the point? It's just here to just pull a trap on me. Okay, so there's nothing... Left, and there's nothing right. Uh huh. Uh, unless there is some <laughs> magical key inside the safe, inside the trap door. Now you got this, which you can pull, but well, you can pull in this direction. Don't tell me that it's like a like a magical key if you put it on top of like that block. Not picking up flares, we're not doing it. <laughs> Don't need the flares. Yeah, so if you cover that, that doesn't all oh, that does. That does something. That's a bit of a drop, I'm not gonna lie. Is there a ladder on this side? Yeah, there is. They really love these ladder walls, but the texture is uh oh boy. I could have 69 flares. I choose not to because I choose to be a little more conservative with flares. Uh, more golden, golden hallways, I guess. That's safe because someone's gonna, yeah, they're totally like Minecraft ladders. There we go. Uh, that didn't really move me anywhere useful down here, I guess. There are shotgun shots down here. I didn't just, like, find a secret room down here uh -huh. that I know also doesn't have... Like, I wrote down where the secrets were, I didn't write where the rest of the level went. So did I just go down here and it's just like, yeah, there's... You know, there's lava... Oh, wait, wait, I could make that jump. Yeah. My eyes are just like, oh my gosh, that's not, <laughs> that's not danger. That That's just the actual ledge. I think this is legitimately where the level goes. I know, right? There we go. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, no, we're in the clear, we're in the clear. But it's a bit of a, bit of an interesting room. If you're hearing lots of leopards, they could be cheetahs, they could be tigers. I don't know my cats. It's like, tell me the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. And don't, is it the freshwater, saltwater thing? So different levers open and close different doors. Uh, on top of that, I want to say they're going to be cheeky and they're going to do something on a higher ledge. But until then... Like, yeah, here, it's like, okay, now you get a choice of, like, two doors. You had this one that opened up. Uh-huh. And I saw the far end open up, so it's just like, oh, no. Everyone likes a good puzzle, but... 
Uh, Professor Layden is uh, certainly a character. Is that... Is that a way to like swim out? Okay. Open the door. More cats. That's not the cat in this room, but that looks like a cat in another room that I just opened up. That cat looks free, but... Is he? And that one opens the door, so okay, I guess I had to pull all the levers anyways, and then... I'm gonna have to swim through here and immediately get my face mauled by a cat. That is... There is... I think that's just if I light myself on fire. That's all I get. Okay. Uh, so now the question comes, I've got to turn off one of these switches. This one, maybe? Oh, well, that definitely opened, no, that didn't open that door. I closed every door, actually, that really wasn't that useful. about the first one, because I've got this room open. Do you like it, by the way, that we got like four levels of Lara wearing this outfit again? Okay, so that's open now. This is open. This is open. This is open. And the leopard has come out, so he's, it's definitely, it's definitely that one. Ugh. At least the leopard is your, your tell. At least you get a tell. Um, okay, so now I got one extra switch. So what did that do? That opened... Uh, oh, I was like, I was like where, where am I looking from? The, the door on the other side of the switch here. Uh, is that just another fire room? There's automatic pistol ammo, but I shall choose to ignore that. Okay, so now I've got this room open, the next room open. Now I've got to figure out how to open that room. Like where that leopard is. Is that open the room with the leopard? That just closes the door. That one stays open. Got it. What is this first lever open? That definitely feels like that closes things. But the most important thing is whether it's got that door open, which it doesn't. So that's not that's not opening that door. That this lever. Uh that also didn't open the door. And that also kinda of closed me out, so that feels like that one's necessary. And that one closes everything, but you didn't reopen that one. So now I'm just full stuck in this room, unless I <laughs> reopen this ladder. Or this lever, sorry. No, not ladders, the levers. Uh, yeah, let's pull this one. I keep tapping it just to like try and... Okay. Oh, I guess I re-pulled down this one. I'm curious if maybe it's just pulling down the, the one in the very last room there, because I don't think any of these really captures that outer one. So it must be just this lever, isn't it? Yep, oh, okay, that opens that, and... Is there a cat more in my face? There he is. He runs straight into the fire, and that is now a toasted kitty. There you go, congrats. It took, it took me five minutes of uh -huh. switch pulling, uh, but I made it in the end. Uh, so I believe right is the way to continue the level, left is the way to find a secret. And uh, because of the way the secrets work in this... Uh, fortunately I don't need to go down, but because of the way the secrets work in this, uh, I'm on a roll! I've found the secrets in the other three levels. This is the fourth level, so 
We should be okay. So, climb up. And now we've got some spikes here, but... We can do the classic... Just drop down on the corner. And then... I think, since I'm on the corner already, I just gotta do a jump and take a little bit of damage, but... Sure, okay. Uh, it's a bit dim. But that's okay. Uh -huh. I got prezzies. Fine, I'll pick up the flares. I'll pick up the flares. Uh -huh. We'll do it. If you got it, you're fine. Or with funny number 52. Funny number flares. Uh, pretty sure there's some. This is <laughs> where I came in from. Uh,. There should be an exit into more, I guess it's up here. There we go, more steps. And following these steps, uh, I guess, yeah, you're totally not exiting where you, where you came in from. Um, it's just, there's the coins. Mm. That's one of the secrets, I don't know. And it drops back down into this room where there is uh, certainly a big guy around the outside. Now, uh, I've got to figure out how to... Oh, wait. No, I was like, wait, that's not the outside. Uh, does that mean I'm actually... I've just got the whole passage open. I don't have to figure around with any switches. Yeah, okay. Cool, so let's just continue on, I guess. Uh, so in this time, we head to the right. We go up. Oh my gosh, there's big feet leading up here. Uh, this is probably my favorite part about this whole DLC. DLC? Man, that's a modern term. The gold levels, the bonus levels. This wonderful jungle. Uh -huh. It looks very jungly. And there's big feet running on. Let's, uh, let's ignore the Bigfoot running on the trees and just kind of... I love the aesthetic. Even though they've still got to deal with the uh, the grid level design. It's it's like, you know, I, I can see where they're coming from on this one. And the question is, will I get lost in the jungle? Maybe. I'm definitely losing my mind to these big feet, I'll tell you that. Alright, so let's save here. And, uh, this is a real, like, precarious jump because of that. So, in that case, I think I've got to be a bit more left. Actually, let's just lean forward and then back up. There you go. Some ammo. But wait, there's more. If you're a crafty fella... I don't trust how I'm going to be able to make this jump very easily, but we'll see. We'll see how I go. Yeah, because I, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I'm probably just going to burn in some way, step off in some way. There we go. Okay. Oh. Nope, <laughs> that wasn't quite what I expected. Uh, yep, yeah. she turned into a standing jump. We're going for the bridge. The bridge is the goal. Okay, let's just go right in the corner. Let's do a turn jump. Oh, there you go. It's probably the meanest jump I've seen this whole thing, though. And there you go. They put secret number two back here. So, that's 11. One more secret, and uh, we're in the clear. I've just got to figure out how to get back. Oh, I think we could just walk on the, the ledges on the left there. There you go. Ah, uh, ooh. <laughs> there's, there's not as much there. Right? <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm definitely going to slide off on these ledges. Maybe I'll just do that on the far one. Like, just... I'm, I'm shaking my head. That, that, that didn't quite go as I intended. 
Um, yeah, how do you how do you get back from here? Oh, not like that. Really, not like that. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I raise you uh, to here, and then like I see that ledge all the way over there, but that's like a bit of a doozy of a jump. So I think the goal would be more so. Not. No, very, very no. Perhaps there's something over to the right instead. Like maybe, maybe back on the uh, the tree ledge. Do we have a clear jump to some kind of safety? There is a jump to safety. Maybe I could use this kind of high ledge to make it. There you go. First try. First try. I'm gonna save because I don't trust myself staying staying alive over here anymore. Uh, so I believe, yeah, to the right is where the level continues. The little slippery, little slippery trees. That's okay. We got we got more more bridge. It's okay. And there's more temple over here, and hopefully there's oh there's a dude. Hi dude, how you doing? Uh, well, we got a switch here. They have, <laughs> they've just released regular guys into that room. Cool. Oh, more more levers. Everyone likes more levers than fewer levers. You pull all the levers. And I have released everyone. Everyone is going to be fighting. Don't know what that one did. not even how to get in here. Ah. Ooh, is that, is that ammo? Cool. Uh -huh. so these guys are good. They're trained professionals. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything fancy. They'll just, and the doors are closed. Are those auto closing doors? I'm going to hate playing the newer Tomb Raiders, uh, as in like three onwards, because there's a sprint button. Literally, it was, this was the door. Uh, but it's like, there's a sprint button, and it's like, oh, it gives me so much anxiety of, like, trying to catch up to doors. Hi, I shall take your med kit. Thank you. Did you just release more dudes, or, like, like what? Okay, well, there's no one in here, obviously. Is that a... Did, did you release a Bigfoot into this room? No, there's a Bigfoot in the outer room. Get him! Get the Bigfoot! Not the Bigfoot! The, the Bigfoot! Not me! The Bigfoot! Okay, you guys have mixed priorities. You guys got really mixed priorities. Oh, there's another guy who's definitely shooting at me though. Listen, they can go get that guy. Well, this looks like an actual door, so... <laughs> the actual door is not the way to go, though. It's just, this is a room with a health pack. But it triggered a Bigfoot outside, so maybe there is something out here. So this door is... now open. There you go. Okay. And there's a guy still shooting at someone up there. Very weird. Uh, but I like this, this like, high up kind of canopy, even though it uh, didn't really go down in any way. It's good fun. Jumping between the trees, you know? I don't know why Lara didn't grab that one. Uh -huh. Yeah, they definitely play on this jungle aspect right at the beginning of Tomb Raider 3, actually, so... Uh, Tomb Raider 3 really likes its uh, variety of environments. I'm just, again, 
more kinds of environments compared to this game. Oh! This is gonna be absolute pain. I give me a hug. Okay. Cool. What are the big feet doing in the trees? I tell ya. There we go. Uh -huh. More health. Everyone likes more health. And just ch jump a gap, you know. Uh -huh. Is there anything in these trees, or is this just a Bigfoot tree? This is just a Bigfoot tree. That's it. That's not. I don't think there's anything up here. I'm just gonna double check this side again. Uh huh. There was just a Bigfoot tree. <laughs> who, who puts Bigfoot in a tree? Uh, although I guess we've got that ladder, which might be something important. The ladder I didn't go up. Uh, okay, let's jump. That's it's a bit far. It's a bit far. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to miss the, the far jumps. Um, I'm worried I'm going to play games in the future that are going to have, like, you know, this, <laughs> this kind of trial and error. Um... My gameplay still in it. Okay, what is the point in this ledge? This is a ledge I can jump to. And I can clearly drop down onto here, which is exactly where I was before. Now there's that slip and slide. Oh! <laughs> I hope you spotted the uh, the sky kind of failing the, uh, the clear buffer again. Uh -huh. Are we at funny number now? Are we at funny number flares? Nope, 57, because I'm actually using them. Uh, I don't think there's any... Oh, well. That answers that question. Uh, I'm going to go for the slip and slide this time. I'm going for the slip and slide. Why does the canopy, like, open up just here as well? Who knows? But... I want to say there's something important to landing on the slip and slide. Like why why is the top platform lit up like that? If you look at that, there is a wonderful ledge that you can jump to at the bottom, which is exactly where the ladder drops you at. That's probably why the ladder is there, but... Again, why did I just take the slip and slide? I, I haven't quite <laughs> haven't quite triggered in my head what the slip and slide is activated, or if anything was activated. If I've just wandered out here and I'm just picking up goodies. Someone walk up. Oh. I do feel like the slip and slide actually activates something though. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the slip and slide and then just that again. Let's see if I can savior it. Oh, yeah, you can't savior it. And there's a bit of middle ground. Dang it. Okay, okay. Let's try and let's try and do the slip. Oh. Let's try and do the slip and slide. And I'm going. I'm going. I'm going down. Oh my gosh. Okay, do the slip and slide, and then a far jump so I can do that. Not slide all the way to the bottom, except it's not really anything you get by not sliding down to the bottom, I guess. Why? <laughs> My brain is like, oh, how do I, how do I get out of here now? That's obviously. <laughs> Keep jumping and sequence breaking things. Oh boy. I feel like you pretty much got to go down this way. Like there's no, 
There's no faster way, really, because you're already on the ladder that gets you out. It's just you gotta make sure you aim the ladder properly this time. Instead of jumping too early, Blendo. Can't believe it. Can't believe you jumped too early. What is going on on the sky over there? It's very weird banding. Okay, oh, well, there's the bridge, so should be clear now. Okay. And then how about let's just save here, because then I don't have to do the slip and slide anymore. Too much slip and slide, I swear. Okay, so was me stand standing on the slip and slide? I've said slip and slide so many times, man. It's just gone numb in my brain. Uh huh. What did that do? What did- what was any of that, really? Like, I picked up stuff. But... Why? I don't believe there's any keys on this level. I guess I could go over this way, because I never really went to the right. Well, stop- stops at some point, but... The grenades? Uh -huh. I have not been picking up grenade launcher ammo, I'll tell you that. Who is firing the bullets? Is that a switch? No, that's just it's just a, a wall. Ah. Uh. So who's shooting? And why does it keep like making me think that there's something over to the right here? Because it's like that's where the the outdoor area stops. Like there, that's the exit to... Stuff it! I'm gonna be here for ages if I don't, don't look it up. My bad. Oh. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Zoom rated to... Uh, I'm on the wrong page. Da 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 da. This is, this is completely my doing. Being completely, like, incapable of figuring out any of these games. Actually, no, I figured out the last... All of Tomb Raider 1 fire. That was fine off the top of my memory. Okay, there's the switches, area above the cages. Tire... Uh, trees and wooden bridges above golden pools. Did that. Okay. And then you pick up... Yeah, so we did that. Building with a square hallway and gold X pathway. Tree tops. Uh, with both sets of watches dead, climb the ladder, stand, light a flare, and flip on the gold ramp, slide down the perpendicular green ramp, point down left, as soon as the ladder lands on the green ramp, run, jump to the long gold slope ahead, don't jump quickly, ladder will slide down the gold slope, let go, she'll slide down to the left series of slopes, to the, to the bottom of a cave? We need some shotgun shells, hold on. Uh... There's more. There was more out there. Really? Did you see anything? I'm sometimes blind. I'm actually, like, not, not clinically, but like, I, as in, I'll sometimes just, like, not see, like, something so important to get to. So it's saying that, like, there's a ledge somewhere. Like, to go in there. That- that's what I missed. Uh, the question is, how do you, like, get the momentum? Because clearly I'm too low here, so... Well... <laughs> like, I think that's just where it wants me to go, is just... In there, but... Oh boy. Out of that, you can try and jump left after planning on the, the slope like that. Uh. I appreciate I've taken like half an hour on this level already. I know I said like, oh, if it's three hours, I'm not going to do the, the bonus level. Um, so obviously... I'm gonna do it at 259, aren't I? 
I'm gonna eat my words, apparently. Like that. Oh, well, okay, the, the good news is there's more slope over there. The bad news is that wasn't how to do the slope, so... That wasn't how to do it either, to be honest. Ah, uh, gosh. You know, you know what I find kind of interesting? I don't know why, but uh, on previous uh, games streamed... Uh, let's see, yeah, if I go too far, I then... Start leaning, like, down here. And I'm down this, like, rocky slope that goes way too far. So there's obviously, like, some... Pathway that I'm just missing here. Jumping... You can't, like, jump over this, and it's just, like, a different pathway down. Well, I mean, the, the pathway is there. This makes me think that, like... The jump isn't from up here with the Sasquatches. It's from, like, down there. Like, as in... Hold on, like it's a slope that's just running down the back there. But obviously now I'm down here. Can't do anything about it. Can I actually make this jump? Nope, you cannot. I'm gonna take like one more go from here. I've got the I've done two saves. Not, not like that, but let's let's save one just to see that I'm not going insane. Uh, save one is yeah okay. Save one's from here. Yeah. Which makes sense. Uh, so there's obviously nothing indoors here, which is weird. I did say again. I come on, Stella. I've even got screenshots. Okay. Climb to the top of the ladder, hang onto the ledge without pulling up, and watch the movement. Okay. Then Sasquatches, Sasquatches, hole, side flip, side flip. Okay. So from sorry, load. Don't want to accidentally do that. From here, from actually down there. Sorry, my yeah. Oh, it's atrocious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So my brain was almost right, but like literally it's just like from here. Do a side flip and should be... That didn't go over. That did not go over. But the challenge has been presented now. Cause I, I was thinking, it's like, that's like not right for a running jump. That, I, hang on, that's not even right for a flip jump. That doesn't seem right at all. To be doing a flip jump here, but like, that's exactly, that's exactly what Stella's put here. Stand at the right side of this ledge facing the ladder, light a flare, and side flip onto the gold ramp. Maybe that's my problem. Is that I've just not been able to see where I'm going. Oh my gosh, I'm blind. I, I'm actually blind. Like, that that was there the entire time. Let's just go from here, man. Oh, that irritates me so much. So I'm just like, oh, I'm sliding down here. Oh, I don't see anything. Must be fine. Must be nothing. Uh -huh. Then you get the shotgun, and you turn right, and you you step back a bit. Oh, I'm gonna be kicking myself so much. I, that's not it. That that wasn't it. Don't tell me this was just for shotgun as well. No, there's a, there's a. Okay, there's a pathway from there, so that actually is the way to continue the level.
Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. It's uh -huh. on my left. It's on my left. Okay. So. I think this is a standing jump. This, this feels like a standing jump kind of kind of deal. There's enough ledge to. Oh, that's. Oh my gosh. I take back everything nice I said about this uh, this level. I I am battling so hard all of a sudden. Oh, and and I missed the jump. And I missed the jump. Oh. How long has the, the clock been going? 22 minutes, really? It's more than 22 minutes. The worst part is I saw a, um, like a, a long play of this, including the fifth level. And it was, uh, just over two hours. So I was thinking, oh, like, I'm probably going to do like three hours when I include uh -huh. the, the third level there. Sorry, the, the fifth level. And, uh, nope. Nope, we're definitely, you know. At this right. Oh. It's a real precarious jump. This is this is I'm gonna burn alright, yeah. Oh that's, that's just that is a mean jump. Okay. Okay, no, no. It yeah, I I wanna say it's liquid gold. I wanna say it is. Okay, let's just do a turn jump and see, there we go. Okay, here we go. You, he you hear that platform just open and close? All these platforms open and close. No Bigfoot, bad Bigfoot. <laughs> not bad Bigfoot. We're not playing today. It's not, it's not what we're doing. Uh, I hope one of these doesn't open up into a way to go, but I'm pretty sure we're just jumping past it, right? Yeah, he just runs over it, you know? He doesn't care. Oh. Okay, at least this seems simple enough for now, you know? I wrote down my notes after the jungle is a proper solid yellow ground platforming. Uh. It's, it's very descriptive. Oh snap, I think this actually might be the proper yellow ground platforming. Uh, I don't know what's going on up there, but... Whoop, leopard! Double leopard. Double leopard. Oh boy. And I don't know Just reload. Is I hearing? Oh, there's another more leopard. This looks like proper yellow ground platforming, though. Well, I haven't gotten yellow ground yet, but we're getting there. Oh, this is the end of the level. Like the moment... Okay, hold on. <laughs> bail out, bail out. Because <laughs> I, I know if I do that, then it's like, literally there's one secret. There's one secret left. But... There was a secret. Well, it's not down there, I can tell you that. Alright, alright. <laughs> Sorry. Stella. Stella, you gotta help me, Stella. Uh, da 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 da. Alright. Room with golden. Hold on. Gold walkway with trap doors. To obtain the final secret, turn right and move along the golden walkway. Stepping on the second square closes the first trap door ahead. Stepping on the third square reopens it. Take a running jump from the third square into the trap door. Screenshot. Uh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I, I definitely walked past it, but I've not like soft locked myself past it. It's just like, it's just back with the trap doors. Uh -huh. But like, I, I I assume that's a shortcut back 
Because I, I don't recall any of that, but... Oh, that's such a, like... Why are these flashing? I like flashing when I turn around. Uh huh. Yeah, okay, so go back and... Here we go, let's, let's be careful so I don't just drop down into fire. Okay, so that trapdoor just never reopened. Well, now it does. It said the third trapdoor, which I think is, is, is one of these two. I think it's this one. Yep, okay. So that's- that was the yellow corridor. That's such a cheeky spot, and given that the f the final secret- like, imagine you go all this way, and you go, ah, oh, 11 out of 12, and you're searching around, and you've got no clue where that one is. At the very least, at the very least, I will say that all the secrets are always in the order of it's the coins, then the bars, then the skull. Um... So, I guess if you miss one of them, then, you know, where it was. Okay. Okay. No, no, we're all good. We're all good. So this is the proper yellow platforming that I had alluded to. And the goal is the opposite side of the room. The good news is uh, the end of the level is just up there. It's just... Kind of interesting as well that you've just got like this completely side room. Usually most of the secrets are just little tiny bits here and there. Uh, this is a real cheeky room though because one, touch any of the, the water and you die. Oh, hi, I'm at the top of, I'm at the top of the slope. Uh, and two, you may be wondering where on earth you stand. Well, not there. Very submerged all of a sudden. Uh, there is like a very specific point that you can stand over here. <laughs> what? I swear I was on the point. I swear I was I was right on the, the divide between the two grid spots and I guess it just decided I'm on the slope part. Okay. The whole point is, is that... uh. That is a ledge that you can stand on just here. I'm going to be worried that you can slide off. Oh, I guess there's another ledge here. Whole point is I need to get into that door, so... That's... Oh, that's sliding. That's... that's poop. That's poop. Not getting into poop just yet. Okay. Uh, I want to say up. Oh, that's that's way too high. <laughs> See, yeah, I can land there, but landing there doesn't seem like it gets me anywhere. Um, yeah, I want to say the goal is like that diagonal platform over there, or well, that platform that is diagonally over there. Oh, but it's just, it is just too far away. And then, maybe it's the sticking out platform up there that I've got to get to. I'm always just like, yeah, what ledges are good, what ledges are bad? Like this ledge. Oh, not like that. There is so much of this, like, kind of bizarre platforming, I'll tell you that. Like, just all of a sudden in this level. Uh... Or I'm just really atrocious. There you go. Okay, 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 okay. Just <laughs> there's a ledge. It's a safe ledge. Okay, and then what? There we go. So now I think the same rules apply. 
There's a diagonal ledge here. That's good. And then... I can ride this over here. And then... Nothing tells you. Oh, I guess you don't shoot it either. I'm pretty sure you just jump it though. Yeah, you just jump it and suddenly the ground is not like lava. Well, some of it's lava, but like... Uh -huh. Not that part. Uh, we'll be back here in a moment, but you've just got to jump to... Oh, I had, I had Tiger. I was not expecting a Tiger. I was not expecting a Tiger to come out. Okay, we'll do the jump quick. No flares today. Just quick jump, quick jump, quick jump. Just this ledge, it's safe. I, I actually think it's the ceiling. The ceiling's telling you what's the safe ground. You see you see how the ceiling, it's like, it's not a dangerous... Uh -huh. Well, looking thing. It's like the, the static kind of look. If I go back over here, it's like... Uh -huh. The ledge in front of me is dangerous, but then... These ledges are fine. Oh, I tripped. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm not getting the flares today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't believe I, I set myself up to do this all in one stream. That's okay. That's the perseverance. That's the Blendo experience right here. Uh, the lack of experience I have. I can't recall what was the longest stream I did, but I definitely know I've done a longer than three hour one. Okay, let's just, let's just bail. Let's just get out of there. Get that leopard. The leopard didn't, he, he doesn't even show up if you don't pick it up. Oh my gosh. Disrespect leopard right there. Uh, I gotta open the door, don't I? I have to pick it up. I have to pick up the flares. It's the only way to get out. Uh -huh. The only way of freedom. At least you can walk this. Yeah, that's the only way to get out. Is to kill the leopard and pick up the flares. Okay, so now I'm back up here. Uh, I guess the question is... Traverse your way back around the other side of the room? That side of the room looks like complete danger, though. Well, not that right, yeah. Okay, well, let's just work from this side and get back around. <laughs> oh, wait, this seems a lot simpler when you're up here, actually. Okay, well, I'm up back here. Oh, wait, this is, uh... Yeah, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, I gotta do this jump again. <laughs> Alright, at the very least, this is a straight run to the end. I actually legitimately... Hold on, okay, so my stream time is 2 hours 53, and it's just about to hit, sorry, 2 hours 54 now. I know I was saying, it's like, oh, if, if it's 3 hours, I'm not doing the last level. But... No, well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Just, we'll do it anyways. But I'm actually really curious if I've just, like, set myself up to beat the level at 2 hours 59. And it's like, well, it, you beat it before 3 hours, now you got to do that final level. The final level is, off the top of my head, not that bad, but, ugh. Neither was this level off the top of my head that bad. <laughs> so... It's actually, it wasn't even that bad. I just spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out one of the jumps. It's just, I, I'm just not good at this game, I'll just say that. That's all it is. Okay, so I've gone up here, I've killed these enemies. So all I've got to do, all that remains now, is to beat the level. Just to, just to finish the level. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the secrets on the, um, on the fifth level. Because you don't really have to. You don't get a reward for doing that. It's just... It's just a cool one. 
Okay, so up the top, finally, uh, we can put the mask in the spot, which triggers uh, this guy to show up. The same reused boss from uh, the end of the beginning, or well, end of the, the original game. Uh, obviously, well, I thought the Uzis were going to be the better thing, and I didn't pick up the grenade launcher. I've got the M16, but. Uh, let's go with a shoddy. Let's see if I can manage to snag the shoddy being good. I believe it's all over when you kill him. Uh, there exists a door at the top, which opens that gate at the bottom. But it's a bit, it is a bit lanky, because he's on, he's on this narrow ledge. He used to have so much ground to fight him, and now it's... Really narrow. Well, there we go. Knocked him over. And that's it. Two hours 5622. I can't believe it. Uh I I think this is the same credits as uh, the regular game, but uh that is uh four out of five levels of the uh the Tomb Raider uh Gold, golden, the Tomb Raider 2 Golden Mask, uh, downloadable levels. Uh, so, now I'm gonna put in the effort. We're gonna wait for the, wait for the credits. And then, uh, yeah, because I picked up 12 out of 12 secrets, it's gonna, well, I'm off the ability to pick the, uh, pick the last level. And we'll rush to the last level and call it a day, call it a stream, because it's 11.30. Um, Although when the clock goes forward an hour, then it'll be 12 day and I'll be super duper tired. Will I? I don't know. The end. No more, no more Lara, they never made any more games. Uh, but nah, I enjoyed it. It's a, it's a fun variety of levels. Uh, where's my time? There it is. 2 hours 15. 9 out of, 9 out of 9? 9 out of 9. There's no level selected. No. Nah. <laughs> Thanks, it bugged out. The good news is, uh, Seller provides a save file for the beginning of the level, so it's literally, you pick it from the level select. This is the Nightmare in Vegas level. Uh, it is another level, but it's, uh, kind of weird in structure and design, really. It kind of starts off as if it were the, um, the, the home sweet home level. You, you start off, you got your shotgun just uh -huh. already sitting here. Um, you've already got your guns, you're in your, your classic outfit. Which Lara doesn't wear for too much of the game when you think about it. Uh, she's got a balcony which has the lovely view of uh, Vegas's golden glory. Well, it's the golden mass DLC. You got a DLC. Oh, I said it again. Um, that's a terrible trend. I don't know why. I, I keep calling um, really anything DLC. Uh -huh. It's just like, well, it's more content after the fact. Uh -huh. And it's stuff you can download. So it is uh -huh. by some degree downloadable content, but uh -huh. uh, expansion is probably the, the, the most direct uh -huh. word. So we've got a lot of ammo here. Uh, will I need it? Maybe a bit, but not too much. Uh, is the, I want to say that's Elvis on the big TV. Um, and then, yeah, this guy show up. I mean, this level was offered as a free download for people who owned, um, oh, I love how the save slots keep going, by the way. Like, there's, it fits nine on screen, but you can scroll to 15. Yeah, the butler's super creepy. Uh... This window is not going, so why am I still in this room? I guess, yeah, you can go outside, but like, I don't think there's anything you can do outside, really. What is that? Yeah, yeah, this one's actually for download. They released versions of the game later, in 1999, with this on disc, as a separate thing you run. Um, but I believe, yeah, it's for download. There was a lot of, like, content for download, and I guess especially back in the, um, Doom days, uh, when everyone would share their Doom levels, and then they'd have stuff like um, uh, like E Zone. E oh, E Zone might be Duke Nukem. 
Why is this door not opening? Maybe I just gotta walk up to it. Yeah, okay. Trigger, trigger the door. Very bizarre hallway. I've been in weird hotels that have like weird hallways like this as well. It's just like, very bizarre. Um, you need a key over there. This window breaks, you know, why not? Uh, oh boy, what's the, what's the jump they want you to do? Oh wait, there's a ledge right here. And then, yeah, you gotta climb it. <laughs> oh my, oh my word. I tell ya. This is what 11.30 does to me, I swear. We'll, we'll persevere, we'll get this done. No bonus stream. That's it. That this is this is all the Tomb Raider 2 goodness. Um, interesting that they actually did the uh, the the a bonus level like this in this uh, downloadable stuff as well because um, uh, Tomb Raider 3 I believe has a has a, uh, a bonus level um, unlocked in the same way. You got to get every secret in the whole game, and that game, well, it's a, it's a longer game, so it becomes more brutal. Now this this is the jump of champions right here. Actually, no, never mind. You can you can climb it down like it's a ladder. I was gonna say like you could drop down and it's like it's a, it's a champions drop right here. Having the guts to drop down here, uh, but then you got to deal with uh, these guys. Oh, maybe maybe you hop around to their balcony and then you can deal with them. <laughs> Lots of glass, you know, breaking glass is always good fun. I always get surprised with like games or movies that have like so much broken glass as like part of uh -huh. its set. Like I don't know why, but like you know, glass is super uh -huh. dangerous. And like every movie it's like it's a fun impact kind of prop. But like, oh my gosh, like yeah, like glass is super dangerous. They the reason why uh -huh. well, a lot of movies can use it is because they've got special glass uh -huh. that just hard shatters, like or not even hot shadows, but like it's really easy to break. Like a guy can just fall through it and it's like, oh, it just all uh -huh. crumbles and, and breaks into really tiny little parts. But like real glass is like, man, you know, like birds fly into glass. Like that's how strong really, you know. So uh, yeah, this guy come, or like is just chilling here. Um, I guess the uh -huh. concept of this level is supposed to be that Lara just has a bad dream uh -huh. about Vegas. That's why the butler shows up because she's just at home, uh -huh. but the butler's just, I don't know, rattling or something. Um, what that does mean is that it gives the excuse uh, for the level designers to do some kind of wild level design in bits, but it's not too bad. And hopefully I remember off the top of my head, because I remember finding out about this level after the fact. Like, just like, oh, I played through all these Tomb Raiders, and it's like, did you know there was a bonus level in... in just the downloadable levels for Tomb Raider 2. I was like, oh, okay. So this is probably like one of the most obscure levels. Uh, but yeah, after that, you are in this large courtyard uh, with this giant golden statue here. Um, in here is another guardian. I believe that's the official name of these. Uh, you kill it, the level ends. Same deal as uh, before. Um, but uh, he's in a cage. You can't get... You gotta get him out somehow. Uh -huh. uh, and obviously, yeah, since it's a uh, pick up from the menu kind of level, you gotta get every weapon back. Fortunately, it isn't too bad if you get the shotgun right away, but. The Three Kings Convention? I don't know where these signs came from, like, in the grand scheme of things. There's something to climb up here. Hopefully it's something good. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think it's a way to climb into the, uh, uh, pen. I think he's closed off still. Yeah, he is closed off. Yeah, there's more shotgun ammo. That always helps. You saw how few hits he took with the shotgun. Uh-huh. a lot of ammo in that, in, in the rest of the DLC for that, yeah. Uh-huh. So, um... So the plans are uh, uh -huh. for uh, next week. So next week is October. Pull out your spooky avatars. Uh, it's the whole month of spooky. Um, what 
that means is that I'll be playing a spooky game that I've never played before and I actually don't know really much about. Uh, it's a long running franchise and uh, you'll definitely recognize the franchise, but uh, curious what I think of the first game after not knowing a thing about no. the franchise. So we've got a... Um, that's, that's important. That's the switch that leads basically to the end of the level. That is great that the game's telling me about that. Um, interesting, the golden statue here is entirely made out of ladders. Oh, is there no way to get in here? Just yet? Oh yeah, it's all closed off. Okay. So the entire statue is made out of ladders, but uh, interestingly as well as a slide that leads down. Oh, that's the butler. Oh boy. Um... So yeah, so uh, we'll be doing a spooky, a spooky stream. Well, multiple spooky streams because it's more than one game. Uh, it's not going to be the Muppet, yeah, the the, the Muppet Spyro clone game. It's not going to be. You know, well, it, it's a it's a spooky game. I'll just leave it at that. But we'll find out next week. Sure enough. Uh, and uh, you know, I, <laughs> if I've been getting jump scared by Tomb Raider two, man. I'm prepared, but you know that's uh -huh. that's what blind playthroughs are all about. Uh, will it be good? Will uh -huh. it be complete? You know, complete dog gameplay? Uh, maybe. Uh, so here we are. We got to walk into the cell block rock. This is like a this is like a show, but like it's so bizarrely black and white. We're in like Cyberdillo territory of just. Well, okay, we're not in Cyberdillo territory of, of uh, uh -huh. Texture Spam, but Cyberdillo is uh, an absolute, like, just gold mine of horrendous textures. We got a white piano as well. Like, that's how you know you're in Vegas. Um, but uh, I think the curtains don't open unless you're, like, I think the curtains open way outside. Maybe there's something in the pool area. There's that, which requires another circuit board. I don't believe there's anything in the water. No. So, where's... There's this key. No. Which I haven't gotten that key for. I know there's a bunch of areas that just, like, aren't... practical. Oh, maybe you climb up here. Okay, there's glass up there. That's a good sign. I love how the way, by the way, like, they only tell you that you can climb the sculpture by having the signs that say no climbing. Like, like you just have to be actively rebellious. Um, I can't recall how you actually open the curtains. I was thinking maybe, yeah, it is higher up, but, like, up there with a the glass? Nah, it has to be just, like, there's a switch here. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was thinking, I was like, this is obviously, like, where you're supposed to go. Two switches as well. Even better. Double switch power. And then, uh, the most terrifying thing. Obviously, Cell Block Rock, uh, just spawns a bunch of criminals. We've all got billy clubs. But they're all coming to get you. This is also a very bizarre set. Just fill with, like, you know. Oh, and, and of course, there's one guy behind me. That's the kindest thing you could do, game. The kindest thing. And obviously, we're shooting at the guy who's walking slowly up to me, and not the guy who's. possibly shooting me as I go along. Did any of the little guys, like, drop anything? I don't think they did. Uh -huh. I got Uzi ammo, but I don't think I got the Uzis. Oh no, you got shotgun ammo. Nice of him. Good on him. So I think some of these ledges can be pulled. It might be a secret behind one of them. Uh, but I think the goal is just to get up to the top. Oh, really? Just, just two more, why not? Why not? Oh. 
right in the corner. Okay. Oh, oh. I didn't. I didn't get him. I didn't get him entirely. There you go. Yeah. This feels bizarrely abstract. I don't know. Like I'm not expecting abstract level design out of a Tomb Raider. But I guess it's a nightmare level technically. The 90s were very big on nightmare levels. I really enjoyed them. I don't know why this was not auto climbing, but sure. Uh, two shotgun ammo. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, we got two shotgun ammo, but like, now what? I think you've actually got a. Well, one drop down. Nice. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is just. You just push it, why not? Uh, sure, and then you can see that there's a room down below. Uh, I think you've got to pull this too. To, as in, pull it twice, not as well, but I guess you can also pull it as well. Did that trigger anything? Uh, we'll see you in a hot moment. Not exactly. Well, I guess, I guess this also needs to be pulled twice. Except now it's three times, so I've done it in the wrong order. That's okay. They managed to play the whole thing in two hours, I swear. There were multiple of them doing it in two hours. I know what they're doing. I'm, I, I'm just wandering around, I swear. Yeah, spooky October month. Hopefully no one uh, pulled the Mariah Carey and came out of their slumber. What are the plans for next month? Uh, it's it's going to be a spooky a spooky game. That's all I'm going to say. I forgot which game you wanted to go for through next week. Uh, most likely will be the last in a long while. Uh, I mean, if you can't catch the stream, you can always watch the VODs as well. So, yeah, like, what is this room? What am I looking at here? This is brightly lit white cage cells as well, all over the place. And I'm pretty sure, like, there's something underneath each of these corners. It's just like, oh. Nope, not under that one, but gives you the ability to pull the next one, and so on. Uh, Sorry, just getting the thing off my phone. Get that off my phone, don't, don't have that there. Uh, here's the ammo. Uh -huh. That was the big thing. You had to, you had to just move, move the block, and then just a big vibration. Pretty sure this one has, yeah. Okay, it's a secret, secrets in here. But the big vibration is like, I don't know, man. It's a bit obtuse, a bit very obscure level design there. So now that I come up, uh, one, there was a gate, I guess. And two... Uh... I've seen gold. It's not the same. True, true. The interactive streams are always good. But I always re reply and look at comments if the comments are... Funny. So I think... I can't recall what happens with the vibration. It makes me feel like there's something here. Do I just look it up and save myself the time? Because I'm legitimately like, uh, I'm definitely on the uh, ooh eyes a out. I'm not gonna like pass out in the middle of a stream, but it's definitely like, oh boy, three hours is definitely gets me at the point. Cause it's like, yeah, what's the time right now? It's quarter to midnight, and it's like, yeah, I woke up at like six fifteen. So, uh, so hold on, let's see, uh, black and white cell block lounge. 
Don't us opens the trap door behind the wall of blocks. Drop through. Uh, climb back up. Through the back door. I don't think there's anything. I think I was just for secrets. Oh, that, that turns on the elevator. I might have tried the new demo of Cosmetia last night and gone to bed at 7 Oh, I definitely had like weird late nights like that, yeah. Um, okay, that vibration literally just turns on this elevator. It's, it's just like, oh, I guess it turns on the elevator, sure. Which is weird, because you think like you'd need like a, like a, the circuit board to make it happen. But no, it just turns on by itself. The doors are just shut, and the moment you move some stuff, that game gripped me, and I can't wait for the rules. Nice. Uh, also, a weird lift. You've got to flip the lever and then get in it, and it just kind of starts moving before you're in it. Uh, but this would lead right up to the top. I think you can climb the, the statue if you want to get back up to the top as well, but... Uh, the big reason why you activate this is because then you can do the uh, as weird as Dark Souls 2 lift into Iron Keep. Um, I've not played Dark Souls 2, but I assume it does the same thing, where it's like you just got to play around with the, the fact it's a, a lift. Um, but yeah, you, you you turn it on, and then you just like jump back out, and. Uh, that's a way to get... well, this isn't a way to go anywhere. Okay, you gotta be careful with the jump. Actually, how dark is this? Well, that is that is just glass right there. And that's a guy. Hi there. I got the flashing health, I got the flashing health. It's the one that memed around into castle. Uh, into a it's like an underworld. Uh, when you were in the castle below, there was blue sky over you. There's definitely, there's definitely weird parts in Dark Souls where it's just like they completely change the uh -huh. um, the color grading. Just like when you walk out a door or something, it's it's a bizarre thing. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this this is like a really weird jump here. So it's like you gotta just like walk back, and then you gotta crawl across until you're above this last ledge here. Actually, it's not even the last ledge, but you gotta do that, and then you gotta do like a, a backflip like that, and then you're on the ledge. So why are we back on this ledge? Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, 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 because then you want to get over there, and that's the circuit board. So I'm able to drop down here, yeah. No, I'm not. I can't believe it. At least I saved here, but... Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, you know? Uh, that elevator was used as the prime example that world building in terms of connecting the areas in Dark Souls 2 was kind of bad. I always... I like the idea of connecting the, the areas, but yeah, it's got to be subtle. Like, uh, if there's one thing that makes, like, Metroid great, it's the fact that they're always in these elevators. They're always these elevators. It, it's, you know... It always feels like a transition and not like a, you know, you walk out a door and suddenly, uh -huh. oh, you're in this area. It's nice to do it differently, but, um, I'm trying to figure this out. It's on my head. Like, where's the jump want me to go? Because the circuit is there. That's the circuit. That's what we want to get. But, no, I would have bad an eye if the elevator went down. But yeah, if you land there, you slide down. If I go left here, oh, just, just try, went up into the sky. There's actually, um, there's a really, like, interesting transition uh if you've ever played spyro a hero's tale and that one's for another another time uh but um in that game uh each of the worlds has um 
it tries to do the seamless transition from one level within a world. So there'll be three levels within a world. And sometimes like in the first world, it's pretty interesting how it's just like, it's just a long corridor and it just connects the two levels um, like that. Uh, oops. Well, okay. All right, Stella, you win again. Um, and uh, in the second hub, there's two levels. You're on like this kind of beachy area and one level, it just, it goes down. And you're just in this long tunnel that goes down, like an elevator that goes down. The other one, the elevator goes up and they do this like really interesting like camera angle where the camera is just directly like above you, above the platform. Um, and so you're just slowly seeing like, you're just going up, up and up. And you're like, how high does this go? And it goes for like 40 seconds. It's, it's a gnarly wait. Um, Where does it say to get the okay, elevator between the level, the middle levels? Oh my gosh. Okay, so climb to the top of the ladder, fall into the passageway, go to the right, take a running jump into a broken glass into the hallway on the other side of the pit, kill the goon with the gulp, pick up the shotgun shells and continue to the opening into the last hole. So take a running jump and jump over the fetish part of the sculpture where it meets the wide ledge L. Oh. The fetish ledge, as in. Me over there. I saved on this ledge, didn't I? Yeah, nice. Think I can redeem it or nah? I'll just slide back down. <laughs> At least I triggered the lift to go back down, so. There's a lot of that. There is a lot of that in, in Tomb Raider. Just, you do a jump. In a bad position, you just gotta redeem it, you gotta recover, you just go from there. Uh, but yeah, no, Hero Cell, uh, interesting game. Is it good? I always found like it was a bit hard to get into, like, when trying to replay it. Um, but I don't think it's bad it's 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 all right it's not the originals and that's the part that hurts the most um but i'll get into it at a, at a later point in time i think like it, it's it's a fair like transition like there was there was a point in time when like uh well yeah both that and crash bandicoot didn't really have you know they, they were in a bit of an identity crisis and uh i think what they did with spyro at that point in time is fine. I didn't hate it. The problem was they rebooted it immediately afterwards. Spyro, the legend of Spyro, a new beginning, as if you need the, the legend part. Uh -huh. uh, so I've got this switch circuit board uh, and also a wonderful health kit. Uh -huh. Now there's two circuit panels. There's the one to the left on the left uh, on the upper floor. Uh, I think you've just got to drop down I love this like starry sky as if it's like Tomb Raider 1. Uh, you know, couldn't do the sky boxes. Oh. Maybe that's what the vibration was. Uh, I, I know off the top of my head. I don't know if you expect it, but I know off the top of my head. So I believe this circuit board, this is the door circuit. That is not the lift circuit. So you actually need to use it here. It opens this door that leads outside. Uh, equip your shotgun. Not your Uzi, because you don't have the Uzi. Uh, probably get some health as well while I'm at it. There we go. And uh, do a save as well, because uh, it's been a bit. And behold, they put a T-Rex in the level. They put another T-Rex in this game. Just like the level 1 T-Rex, it's uh, not that tricky. But it's there. It's a T-Rex. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what happens in Vegas. Also, the secret number 2 is just like... It's just here. It's, it's just wide out in the open. I didn't even try to hide this one. Uh, I love this, this van, by the way. 
Did you notice what's on the side of the van? CNET. <laughs> uh, there's there's a couple of old Jurassic Park games. Uh, I know of. Uh -huh. I don't know of. I know of the Zoo Tycoon one though. That one's pretty neat. I'm a big fan of the um the arcade uh -huh. game, like the on rails one. That one's pretty gnarly because it's it's just like full of like super scaling like tech. So here's uh -huh. the thing you actually want. It looks like a bomb, but it's really the elevator junction. At least it's, you know, visually different. And there's another T-Rex, because why not? It's Jurassic Park 2. Oh, there he goes. Down he goes. Uh, a friend of mine had it, and we would just prepare lots of gun placements and free the dinosaurs. Well, that's exactly what you want to do. In fact, actually, like, that's one thing I, I love about, like, that concept. is the fact that... Um, to some extent, it's it's a little bit tower defensive. It's not entirely, but a little bit. Um, and uh, oh, dude, I'm longing for a good tower defense. I actually started getting into Gemcraft Chasing Shadows, which is uh, it's technically the sequel to Gemcraft, and uh, but I feel like it's it it's good enough on its own. You don't need to play the original. Like it, it, it kind of just is the original and a bit more and at least in the first like 40 minutes uh, oh creeper pff, maybe i should just play creeper world again like i love those games i, I just sunk like a hundred and something hours into creeper world 3 just to snag all the achievements uh this doesn't even get you all the way up you legitimately need to climb the statue to get all the way up i think you yeah you legitimately just need to climb the statue Okay, we're just climbing the statue today. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe I should just play custom apps. I have not played uh, Creep World 4 though. Maybe that's, that should be the thing I acquire next. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I I feel like, yeah, it worked great. And especially, I was a little concerned because um, uh, the developer made a game called uh, Particle Fleet, which um, it's it's cheesy. It's something where it's like the strategy just doesn't exist. There seems to be like a one track like strategy to, to beat that game. Creeper World is definitely one where like the one strategy is pretty engrossing and also then you gotta deal with all the different enemy types. Uh, so I've gotta figure out how you get up even further. Like you've just gotta figure out like I wanna be able to like climb right in the middle there. Cause that's what we gotta do. We gotta figure out how to like climb back up. Uh, but yeah, all of these ledges. Like, if I stand here, I'm just gonna like slide back down. And that's a, well, it's not okay to slide back down in that direction. But what I want to do is I want to slide, um, and then grab the ledge and then manage to climb up. And it doesn't really look like there's any more up in that direction. Maybe that's a trick, is that like, there's just like a, a, a ledge, like down here, like I could just like stand here and just climb straight up or something. You could definitely stand on here, and then maybe you just jump at this and you're good. Uh, man. <laughs> Maybe you jump at that, and what's uh oh, uh, he's got a whole ledge right here. It's really, it's really bizarre that this is all ladder technically. It's, uh, it, I don't know why. It just feels odd, because especially because ladders are like you know they're sacred. They're only in these like passageways that just have ladders, and uh, there's no more ladder. We're, we're out of ladder. Okay, while I look up Stella, uh, congratulations, it is now Tuesday. This is probably the longest stream I've done. Uh... Climbing the sculpture. Uh... Okay, how do they do it? Climb to the side of the sculpture that faces the swimming pool. They've got this ledge here that, like, almost looks inviting, but they seem to be going off a sign. Um... 
Yeah. Uh, but no, Gemcraft is definitely doing okay um, to start off. The one thing I really appreciate about Gemcraft is that, um, or rather the, the chasing shadow. So I want the facing this from this side and they just go up from here. Uh, but the, the one thing I appreciate, they had this kind of weird mechanic where effectively, yeah, you'd, you'd uh, process your gen- Oh, you could just climb this up. You didn't even have to go up the lift, okay. But then... Oh, okay, that's a kind of interesting ledge jump as well. Um, they had this weird mechanic where it's like you'd, you'd uh, spend your mana that is just casually building to generate uh, a gem, and the gem would be of a random color, and the random color, different colors, do different behavior. Um, ah, dang it. Uh, but the some of the behavior is unnecessary, as in it's not stuff you really want. Like one of them, when it hits enemies, it gives you more mana than what it typically would. Cool, okay. One of them, it poisons enemies. That one's pretty good. Uh, the one that drops enemy armor is 100% vital. Uh, but the color you get is random out of a pool of colors designed for that level. Um, which kind of gets a bit annoying when it's like, you just don't get the color you need, especially near the end of the game. Uh, so, new game, or at least it's, I think it's from like 2014, so it's not like that new, but uh, literally you pick the color. The, 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 the randomized play is not there anymore which I feel like kind of makes it a bit easier to, to digest. Um, you still have the idea of different levels. Uh, this is uh, Gemcraft Chasing Shadows. It's available on Steam, but it's also available as a Flash game format. So uh -huh. it's technically available uh, on their website. But nah, Gemcraft is classic. I love it. Um, and uh, yeah, I just need to play more of it, really. It's got way too many Steam achievements. They just transitioned all their like flash achievements into Steam achievements. So here we are, back on the top ledge. Uh, hopefully, I think I'm almost done with the level though. Uh, we go back up to here and we gotta turn on the junction. So now, do I have the shotgun still? Yeah, I do have the shotgun still there. Turn on the lever. comes down from the sky. There is a lot of broken glass down there. Wow. Is that guy about to slap me? There is. Cool. You just call the elevator back down? You don't do that. I'm taking the I'm taking it up. So I believe. We're right here at the end of the level. It's it's not that long actually. It's got a whole like you know kind of bit of side areas to keep going on. Uh, but the key thing is uh, you got this glass which is going to irritate me trying to jump up here. I believe you got to jump. Actually, I don't think there's really anything up here. The only thing that's kind of awkward is that uh, you're feeling the vibrations, and that's because this guy is actually his pen opens up into this direction. Uh, I'm going to try and run down here, and I'm going to try my best, uh, because secret number three was sitting in his pen the whole time. Also, I guess there's more room to fight that doesn't have glass. Not really that much more room, but at least there's no pits. There we go. Look at that, I did it. I grabbed 15 out of 15, whereas the game said, uh, 9 out of 9. <laughs> Oh, but he's clobbering the heck out of me. At least they give you enough large med kits to get through this level. And he is 100% about to kill me. Oh my goodness. Okay. I I I just I just focused the the uh the chain. All right, there's a secret there. You you can tell there's a secret there. Well, I gotta run down and get him anyway, so... Or you could just wait for him to come back up here. I don't think anywhere is really gonna be safe. Is that... Is there an Uzi over there? No, it's just health. 
I love the way this builds up though. The fact that like he knows, he knows you're here. He's active. And he's gonna make his way up to come greet you. It's like it's a great show. Up. If albeit it's the exact same fight you just did in the last level and at that point in the game. As cool as Tomb Raider is, they cannot make the enemies more interesting than the victorians that often. Get him! Get him! Oh, he's hugging me. There we go. Easy money. Easy money. He has fallen over. That is the Nightmare in Vegas level. And that's the end of Tomb Raider 2. That's the end of Tomb Raider 2 Gold. There is no more official Tomb Raider 2 stuff. That's it, so... I hope you enjoyed this spree into a game that I suddenly didn't understand, or really, uh, anything about it. But, <laughs> I, I played it before, but it kind of went really over my head. I had to unfortunately rely on a walkthrough every single stream, but you know what? I think it's fine. If, if you struggle with a game, don't feel ashamed to save yourself some time. Especially, because you're still going to execute it in Tomb Raider. Execution's half the, half the art, so... Uh, and yeah, these were some interesting levels. Um, Tomb Raider 3, not, not this year, I'll tell you that, so... Uh, until then, uh, I will uh, bid you all adieu. Uh, I hope uh, you will join me uh, next week. Remember, it's daylight savings, so the stream is an hour earlier than it typically is. Uh, but yeah, if you miss any part of this or you want to watch anything later, the VOD's on YouTube. Uh, well, it's not now, but most likely be once you uh, go to bed and wake up. It is 12.06. I am fairly tired. I usually don't drive these into midnight, so congrats. We probably did the longest stream out there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, and it's the spooky month, so spot the spooky avatars and the spooky music that I was reusing from last year um, and a spooky game to go with it uh, so that'll be good fun and uh, yeah other than that for you at home I hope you enjoyed take care eat your greens don't stay up too late because I have it's Tuesday already I can't believe it it's crazy alright good night yeah everyone oh <laughs>